the seat <clears throat> over. Audio's pumping. Everyone's happy. Hello, folks, and welcome into the initial one shot, two shot full campaign. Who knows, folks? <laughs> We've got a couple brand new players to Dungeons & Dragons here. A uh, few people that have not not DM'd in a long time and are players. And myself, who has not DM'd in a while. So we're, fl- we're all over the place. It's a good crew to learn and grow and uh, become closer to in this beautiful tabletop. Well, I guess we're online, so it's not really a tabletop game. <laughs> um I'm Omer Fudd. I'll be DMing here tonight. If we want to go around, we have uh, let's go. We'll we'll do we'll do characters here in a second. We got Native Raider here. It'll be his first time playing or second time. Yeah, second time. Second, second time. time. How are you feeling about this right now, buddy? I'm excited, man. I'm pumped for this. Uh, I, I can't take a second loss today, so yeah, we're 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 in it to win it. I'm ready. <laughs> Hell yeah. We got the Sweaty Spooks, one of the Moist Boys here. His first ever journey into Dungeons & Dragons, I believe, period. You said you've never even watched anything for it? Nothing. Ever. Really? You've <laughs> never seen anything? Never watched Critical Role? Dang. Uh, I mean, no. That you've is, never watched, never watched a episode. D&D game. <clears throat> you've never watched that one episode of Community? <laughs> that they had to remove from Netflix because Ken Jong was had blackface. I mean, I've seen Stranger Things. It wasn't. It's not blackface. Oh, you're dark elf, you got right? it. It's yeah, not. Totally it's not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> I played Tina's Wonderland Admiral and uh, Nips, thank Baldur's you for the Gate. One, baby. Does that count? Oh okay. yeah, that counts. No, yeah. No, yeah. If you yeah. actually, yeah, no. Honestly, if you play Baldur's Gate, you're good. Yeah, you understand everything. Okay. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You know more than we do at this point now. I think. So I'll, yeah. I'll switch seats with you. You can take over, and I, I'll play for you. How's that? Okay, okay, okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. I got this, yeah. We have Bill Nye's Bowtie, who has played a shit ton of D&D over the years, I believe, and you've been, like, the forever DM? Yeah, I have uh, I started playing D&D in 2018. I got into it, like, around the time Critical Role got big, and I jumped on that bandwagon. Um, and I have been DMing a game for three years now. Uh, that I run online with with some friends, and uh, yeah, I am glad to not have to be the one moving <laughs> shit around on roll twenty tonight. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I was setting up, I was like, oh, I forgot that this is this is like real effort. It's a lot of work. <laughs> it is. Yeah, I just remembered two days ago that I was like, oh shit, roll twenty is a thing. I need to do stuff on that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's classic. And then we also have. My my dear Russie Poo, who I've played quite a lot of D and D with, and yeah. also is the forever DM. So this will be fun for us to switch seats with each other. Yeah, I, I and I I've played a lot too. I've been on both sides of the table. Um, but uh, yeah, it's definitely I'm excited to see your DM style because most of the time when we've played, I've been DMing for yeah. you. It's pretty lazy, um, pretty laid back. I, yeah. <laughs> And uh, I'll believe most anything anyone says. So, you know, keep that in your hearts I, and minds. I will be judging your character right. voices. Oh, oh yeah. Perfect. those No, those are always spot on. Don't worry. Good. Yeah. Good. Because mine is perfection. <laughs> yes, yes. Yours is perfect. I was so working excited. on it today in the shower. I'm so excited. Oh, that you oh, actually have a character oh, voice. This is going to be some this is going to be some tough competition. Ugh. Well, oh, it's going to be terrible. It's going to be terrible. As we as we go into the actual session here, right? You guys are starting as a level five character. Um, mm-hmm. That way you have some things to play with, move around with. You're not going to be as squishy. Um, it gives you more tools to play with to learn. I think without being such a high level, there's so much you're completely lost and blown away by everything. Um, but especially with a session under your belt or some Baldur's Gate or Tiny Tina's, I've never. Pl- I really want to play that one. Like badly. Funny. Yeah, I really want to. Um, but with that, obviously there's not going to be the whole, you guys are meeting for the first time. You guys have been running around together for a little bit. That's why your characters are level five and together at this point. So if we want to go around the horn okay. where everyone can kind of introduce their character to each other, um, without having to do the awkward, like it's our first session. Ah, hello. Yeah. Traveler. Wait, um, we're not meeting in a tavern. No, uh, you're actually meeting at a key party. So, oh, yeah, it should be oh, hell yeah. 
I, yeah, yeah. I don't know what that is, so I'm excited. Oh, you sweet mm. summer blossom. <laughs> um, but Native, if you want to, first off, yeah, go ahead and introduce your character and class and all that good stuff, buddy. Oh, key party. I get it. Okay. <laughs> I, I still don't, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> That's all right. Um, it's a, speaking I'll of key Okay. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Upside down. It's where people swap speak. keys and then have sex with each other. Yes. Interesting. That's what a key okay. party is. Yeah, I've been married for a long time. Don't know that one, but uh, my first <laughs> character or my character that I have here I is that. Ryuki. Ryuki, um, translated from Japanese to a uh, dra- uh, tree dragon, and this is um, a Japanese-ish styled uh, male druid, seventy-seven years old, five ten. Um, and has kind of a troubled past, um, mm. a lot of revenge, you know, seeking type type thing, search for knowledge. Um, but yeah, uh, that's that's me. Hell yeah! Since we've been partying together for a while, do we kind of know some of what your motivations are? Like what you might be seeking revenge for? Is there anything that's key to your character that we as players might know? Yeah. Okay. So I'll, I'll expand on that a little bit. So, um, the idea is that, um, Ryuki, he, he grew up in a small fishing village, right? Uh, and, uh, he saw basically his entire clan or family, like be completely decimated and dying breath from his grandfather handed him the family talisman that he wears around his neck. And, nice. uh, so he's been looking for, you know, the truth on what happened. And so he's, uh, he's very, uh, big into, you know, defending the weak and the undefended, right? Like he, he okay. wants to, he, he's, he's a, he's a neutral good. Um, <laughs> but he's also very untrustworthy of others because of how that whole thing happened where it was supposed to be a, another friendly clan. And then, you know, thing went down and, uh, yeah, so that's, that's hopefully that helps a little bit. It's kind of the, the, the backstory on Ryuki. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Great question, Russ. I'm glad you jumped into with that. <clears throat> You're the man. Uh, sweaty spooks, buddy. Your first foray in. What have we got as a character for you? So my character name is Zarok. Zarok is a word deriving from the ancient language of the franchise Aragon, which means I knew misery. that's what it was. I was like, I'm just <laughs> listening to Murtag, and I was like, is that what I think it is? <laughs> yes, he is. Uh, an elf that was born into slavery, uh, generations of slavery, may I add, to a vampire dynasty. Um, oh, okay. So, of course, there's a lot of time put in behind all of this, and Zarok himself is uh, quite of high age, but young in elf terms. Old in human terms. Yeah. Um, so, <clears throat> he, since he was born a slave, obviously he had to serve the castle, and there was a fateful night where a mage had come to visit the king and he had a tincture on him that Zarok had noticed and stole. Um, whenever he consumed this tincture, it gave him some magic powers, although slight, but enough to be able to escape and pursue his own destiny. And that's where we're starting off. Hell hey. yeah, dude. I lo- dude, your first time and you've got like, lore appropriate backstory that's like badass dude hell yeah i'm so <laughs> proud of you uh what is uh so we've got a druid and then what were you zarok uh a rogue elf rogue elf cool. sorry i was looking at a couple are you things. what subclass did you take uh rogue and if there was any options to tap into arcane uh, to have some magic powers i sure did that Nice. Okay. So you did, did you do the, um, what is it? Trickster or the, uh, I don't know. I stuck to the core, um, options that were available. I didn't really know what That's to like... use. So I just stuck to, to the core rogue. Yeah, man. And That's any, any stat that I could put into like dexterity, wisdom, um, or intelligence. I made sure to really lean into that. Yeah, dude, okay. you're already so you for went, a first you timer. Thief. You're okay. fucking set, dude. Yeah. I love oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry about that. Oh, hell yeah. yes. No. Awesome. Cool, 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 cool. Um, Billy, buddy, what are you bringing to the to the uh, digital table? Uh, I am playing as Quoth, the Aarakocran monk, uh, as part of his um 
sort of uh, leadership or or becoming um, a a figure of authority um, and seniority within his tribe. Uh, every every member of his clan descends from their home on the mountaintops, where uh, they go out into the world uh, and find ways to to find their own purpose where whatever that may be or whatever a sort of internal purpose uh that member wishes to seek um and bring that wisdom back to their clan um hopefully along with some additional knowledge and nice. how to yeah. improve the livelihoods of everyone else there um quoth's uh goal in in his journey is to just Im- find ways to to bring about uh peace to to the common people in the world where uh sort of in in his clan growing up in isolation um you know there's one of this a bit, bit of an idyllic lifestyle but then uh descending descending the mountains in, into the real world uh his people quickly learn that there's much strife uh that can be can be sorted so yeah Hell yeah, dude! I'm ex- monks are super cool. I'm excited to see what you I've bring. Never, I've had this up. character made for like four years and never played it. So, oh, I love we'll that. We'll see how it goes. The debut. <laughs> yeah, dude. Today's the day, man. Oh, my heart and my are so hard right now. Anyway, um, Rusty Poo, buddy, what are you bringing? Uh, so <clears throat> I am bringing a. Uh, let's see how to d- describe Perxerus. Uh, so Perxerus is a half giant. Um, so he's super tall, uh, super big. Um, and his personality kind of matches. Um, so he, he is a, uh, glory, uh, his oath of glory paladin. He's all about creating a story everywhere he goes Whenever he walks into the, the 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 tavern or the ballroom after we finished adventuring, he's the first one to start telling the story of our adventures. And especially if there's a bard, he'll like sit close to the table so that the bard can overhear in his very loud voice as he's like recounting the story. Um, he embellishes quite a lot uh, whenever he is telling the story. Um, and as you guys have adventured with him, y- you've realized that a lot of it is to kind of cover up Something that he doesn't really talk about, but you've picked up that something happened and he kind of covers that up with going that extra mile. He can kind of he can kind of come off insincere sometimes, um, but it's unintentional. Um, But he's always willing to give whatever he has to anybody. He really doesn't care about money, anything like that. Um, But he is... uh, he is always found in just his shining silver armor um, that is very intricate, uh, has kind of that Viking winged helm that kind of comes up. He has a large beard that kind of flows because uh, you guys know that he is descended from cloud giants. Um, Jesus. And, he, and, he, and, his, and even his steed, right, which he's recently learned how to be able to summon that from the ether. Uh, and he is all like it's the most gaudy thing. It kind of looks like a part dragon, part bird. Like it has like the haunches of a bird. Kind of this long, flowing silver mane, Delicious. golden scales, and like this kind of dragon face. Um, basically, everything that he does is outrageous, and he is very comfortable with that being the case. And I love that oh, as yeah. a half giant, just a massive, just like gaudy vein. <laughs> That's really fun. I'm excited yeah. to see how, how you play that. Well, we could use him on the Raiders O line. <laughs> but that's the last thing I'm going to say about football. I know. No, I'm sorry. Let's be honest. It's not the last thing you're going to no. say about football. <laughs> and that's a okay, buddy. Yeah. Every, everything is welcome here, including. Hell yeah. Every uh, your gaudiness, yeah. Um, okay, so a little backstory here, right? So this is being pulled from um, how this is starting off to make it easier for me, right? As your guys' first foray, um, and then as everyone together, right? Is this this is coming out of an actual book from D and D Beyond Wizards of the Coast and stuff? 
um, yep. for a campaign. But as this as this ends, right, it kind of moves into things that I have put together and whatnot. So if this does decide to continue, which is fine either way, um, there's stuff ready for it. So just so you guys are aware. All right. So in case Let's there's go. something you have run before, those of you that have played, I apologize. But this is one of my favorite encounters in this, and I've always wanted to play it. And I'm like, their first time, this is the way to do it. So <laughs> let me get this together here. Um, so you all met together in the town, in the mining town of Fandolin, okay? And uh, for whatever other reasons okay. you had going on, as you guys have discussed your backstories, at this point, you you kind of understand kind of what brought each of you in this direction on your path to revenge or spreading your name far and wide or bringing knowledge back to your village or whatever, you know? Um, and you've done a few things here and there. Um, there's tales of possible um, dragon sightings, right, in the distance, and which has caused a large number of orcs to come from their fortress up on the mountain and kind of spread throughout the land. And so you've, you've kind of moved to a few different areas, right, killed a couple orcs here and there, found some information as you're progressing forward, found some uh, better weapons. That's why I've made each of you has, and I, if you didn't have it already or cared to shoot, I added it. Everyone has a plus one weapon. So you all have, you know, something going on right there to move forward with. Um, Do we know why the orcs have been coming? So the, sto the story read that you've heard from the mayor of the town right now is, is there's been possible dragon sightings up on the mountaintop, right? And that the thought is the dragon actually being there has pushed the orcs from their fortress that was on the mountain. So the oh, dragon gotcha. has taken over this air quotes. People are saying they've seen a dragon, but no one's confirmed it yet. But the orcs are all in the lower area. Cause an upset in the ecosystem. Copy. Exactly. Yeah, proper to the chat. Holy shit, there's dragons in this game? Nope. It's actually a pinata <laughs> when you get to it. Surprise! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a Fortnite llama, fun fact. Anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> Does it explode with loot? Yeah, <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in a future episode. Um, but so currently you guys have been um, sent forth to rescue Alphonse Calazorn from a, um, from a farm where he retired from. He was kind of head of the guard in the town for many, many years, a legendary man, right? Just burly dude, um, really good fighting skills, has led the town through many raids, pushed back the orcs initially to their fortress up on top, and happily retired, has a farm, everything's good. But no one has heard from this farm since the orcs descended from the mountain. So you have been uh -huh. sent to Butterskull Ranch. The journey uh, from town to Butterskull Ranch took you about two days. Nothing exciting happening, right? We're kind of jumping forward to getting here. Um, but you have found you know, a couple cows ripped to shreds right here and there. Signs that yeah. not normal things are happening. Uh, if anyone wanted to investigate the cows further, you could go ahead and do so. Uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I sure would. Okay, go ahead and give me my... some investigation there, baby. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so, Perxerius kind of unmounts his large beast approaches one of the cows uh and he is gonna yeah yeah this is gonna be a good roll i can tell um i got a five okay so mm -hmm. you know that it's a cow yeah i just <laughs> picked it up by its hoof and i imagine it just kind of yeah fell kind apart, of and I'm like, like all the innards just yeah just descended to the ground and any any signs that would show kind of what happened whether it be an orc or a dragon or another cow, you know, or anything is uh, unable to be found out now. So, so I just go, this, it looks like a cow who's been ripped apart. <laughs> ripped apart, yes. I will take haunch. And I kind of just throw it over my shoulder. As the remaining <laughs> guts just kind of flow down your cloak or yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. whatever's on your back. Yeah. yeah. While uh, Perziris, sorry, Perziris, is that right? Perkzerus. Perkzerus. Uh, while, while he's looking at the cow, um, can I look around and see, is there, knowing that there's a threat of dragons, is there, like, burned, like, 
ground anywhere? Do the buildings look destroyed? Like, is there is there any immediate evidence that this could be the dragon and we might be in some sort of, like, urgent danger? Uh, you search and the trees are dragons. No, um... Uh, no, you're not, you're not seeing any scorch marks. Um, maybe a few from like what could have been a campfire here and there, but not big enough to be a dragon blast of any sort. Okay. Um, so you guys want to carry on to the uh, the old ranch? Let's but carry on. It was a dragon. Perfect. Ready. All right. <clears throat> so you guys make your way over to... Oh. Butter Skull Ranch. Let me get this set up on the... Uh... I really love the name of this one. Butter <laughs> Skull. Yeah. Oh, you have the same NPC tokens I do. Yep, yep, yep. I just used what was ever in Roll20. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry, one second. I'm over here. Okay. Butter Skull Ranch occupies a large plot of land on the north side of the Trailboard Trail. Nestled between two hills... Beyond a ramshackled wooden fence stands cornfields, an apple orchard, gardens, and pasture land. A path breaks off from the trail to lead to a two-story farmhouse next to a pond. West of the farmhouse are the charred remains of a barn and a smithy that have burned to the ground. Uh, the farmhouse, you can kind of, it's next to the pond there on the map, as you can see. Um, is there okay, anything? Okay, it's that kind of. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, as you guys are, are looking at the pond. Go ahead. Five feet. Okay. I was, uh, the squares are five feet. It says at the bottom. I just On this particular map, it's not to scale because it's not lined up right. This is more of like a mm -hmm. choose your own adventure direction on this map, but. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, yeah. So as you guys cross the hill, that is the description of what you have seen looking on to Butter Skull Ranch now. Uh, you do not see any live animals moving around. You do obviously see more cows and horses um, kind of dead strewn around. A couple sickly still tied up and barely standing up. Um, obviously, the fields have been torched. Um, the orchard is kind of untouched, actually. Um, but yeah, the corn, all the corn fields are torched up. The pasture is pretty ripped up. Uh, where do you guys want to go? Where I want to go explore from? the barn. The barn? Where, I want to explore located? the barn. You See guys find any are going to be sort of at the very southern part right now. Southern, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say if we're looking for the guy, I definitely want to go check the barn out. Okay. Or sorry, not the barn, the farmhouse. Oh, okay. I, I see them now. All right. Well, you guys better discuss between yourselves where you want to go. We're hearing a couple different... Uh-oh. Discord messed up. There we go. All right. I'm hearing a couple mm -hmm. different... Farmhouse sounds like a good place to start. I think that um, perhaps we, we need to skirt... Like, we, we have this southern hill here. We can get a view if we go up a little bit and, and, and get a good view of the entire thing. Uh, like let's, let's do a little bit of reconnaissance. Uh, so he suggests going up on the hill. Um, I decided to spread my wings and just go up like 30 feet in the air and get a look around. <laughs> okay. That is uh, do you guys want to still <laughs> go up on the hill? Yes. Okay. Um, so to your right there, I have been adventuring for a while. I think the hill is a good spot. Okay. Perfect. Uh, you guys move together when he was flying. Uh, to this hill to get an overlook. Um, again, you can kind of see as a better vantage point from up there. Go ahead and uh, our little flyboy, if you want to give me uh, an investigation for what you're looking at. Oh, I do. Since you're going to be obviously higher than them, even up on the uh, three. Yep, it's definitely. It's really cloudy. It's really it's cloudy. Very today. Cl it's kind of foggy. It's still <laughs> early morning, you know, and you go. It's kind of chilly up here. Maybe I made a wrong choice. Yeah. All right. I will. I will descend back down and rejoin the party then. Okay. Without having much to add. Um, <laughs> on the hill, and uh, native, sweaty, and you guys want to uh, roll a little investigation, see what you can find out. You know what? I think I'll do that. Just I'll do, do it, just that. All right. So we're gonna roll d twenty, right? Yes, sir. On your character sheet, you'll see investigation as a skill. And that'll show you kind of the modifier you add to your D20 when you roll it. Okay. <laughs> I know that face. <laughs> Good job. Buddy. I don't know if I did it right, though. I just like We're clicked rolling the, hot tonight. I just clicked the D20 and it rolled a one. I didn't click anything else. Was I supposed to? 
No, no, <laughs> that was that was exactly what you're supposed to roll. Uh, yeah. so you got a na- your first roll in D and D ever, my friend, was a natural <laughs> one. one. Let's all let's take a hell moment. yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> oh. This is Let's gonna go, go great, <laughs> buddy. Was it can either Start only go high. uphill or st- plateau there for the rest of your career. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, I love hell that. Yeah. yeah, you get up on the hill and you go to kind of cover your eyes from the sun and just put your hand over your eyes. And you're just like, yeah, I don't know what's going on out here, guys. Yeah, for me, it's too cloudy. For him, it's way too sunny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You it's crazy. Are, you guys are throwing it. <laughs> <laughs> Weather's crazy today. <laughs> Weather's nuts. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start stripping the, the cow haunch preparing <laughs> for dinner because it feels like we're just going to be here a while. <laughs> Unless Ryuki goes up on the hill and okay. he glances out and I roll uh, four plus one. This is great, guys. This plus is five. great. Yep. So wow. you're, you're looking out and you kind of get distracted uh, from... You know, the sun hitting your friend's eyes, a, a lot of fog. It's really weird. Um, but the description you had before is still the only knowledge you have. Apple orchard seems okay, and everything else is burnt to the ground except the farmhouse. Um, so I have a passive perception of nine. So as I'm cleaning the haunch, is there anything I'm gleaning from this since apparently it's the highest we're going to be able to roll tonight? <laughs> yeah, 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 apparently. <laughs> uh, the best you can glean from this is just that the farmhouse and the apple orchard seem to be untouched. The uh, black, the smithy and the barn are kind of burnt to a crisp to the ground as well as all the cornfields and such. How close to the mountain are we currently? To the mountain, you are, you're, a quite, quite, you're a couple days journey from the mountain. Okay, so I can kind of see it in the distance. You can see it in the distance, yeah. Okay. Um, And we're in the valley where we know the orcs have kind of come down, and they're around. Correct. Right? And you've ran to them in very small groups here and there. Do I see any, uh, like, campfires? Not with the nine, you don't. Mm. 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 No, with our weather. (laughs) We know... we know this is where we need to be. Uh, I suppose we best go see if uh, Alfonso is home. And I'm just going to start walking towards the farmhouse because I have no reason not to believe I shouldn't. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna trail him, but I'm gonna keep off to his right flank. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna say I'm like meters. I'm not like gonna be like staring at the ground while I'm walking. You know, I'm gonna still have my eyes open and trying to yeah, keep my, my wits about me. Oh, per se, my, my, my is just gonna. I'm very cautious of, of a person, so I'm light stepping, flank, right, five meters. Okay. I, I and Perxiris is just gonna be bulldozing his way down the hill. <laughs> Not a care in the world. All right. Well, no. I'll let him go first then. Yeah. I, he probably has a lot more hit points than I do. <laughs> Perfect. Sorry, just. Doing I don't know about a lot, weekend. but my AC is pretty high. <laughs> Give me one second. Are we are we taking the the triborn trail or are we not moving on the? That's set up path? to you. Well, we uh, were on the tr- hill, so I'm assuming we're just kind of walking down the hill to get to the road. Okay. Okay. So maybe around yonder. All right. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. As you're moving you forward, we have uh, okay. Russ. You're in front, correct? Yeah. Okay. As you get into the fields, you do do notice. Um, a few campfires here and there, that, but they don't look like they've been used very recently. Campfire. So kind of charcoal, you know, some loose rocks here and there. Is there anything around the campfires, like items or, or belongings or like freshly footprints. eaten food or something? Yeah, footprints uh, go that take look a fresh. Uh, can I do... Hmm... I'm like, I guess, I guess it would just be investigation again. Yes, sir. Let's see if we get the highest roll of the night yet. Oh, not one. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you go, you go to look at the fire and you trip over one of the outer oh. rings. Um, this is kind of fall into campaign. the soot. And yeah. now you're, now you're a dirty little bird. Yeah. And I now they're know. definitely footprints. Yeah. Yep. And they're the yours. Bird shaped footprints. Yep. <laughs> Um, I'm just, I'm just still walking towards the farmhouse. I have not even noticed that he has veered off. Uh, what's your passive perception there, uh, Billy? 
Uh, ten. Okay. Uh, so when you hit the ground, you would smell poop nearby. Hmm. Would I be able to judge a direction? Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. It is. You barely missed it. It's coming from Perxirus. <laughs> oh, like I tripped and nearly fell in cow shit. Ne- well, it's shit of some kind. Oh, okay. Hmm. Would I recognize it as like a kind of survival outdoorsy person who grew up or has been adventuring around the world? Would I have any indication of what animal this is from? Uh, you do not deem it to be from an animal. Well, it has to. What? Yeah, <laughs> it's it's not from like like a beast animal, like a cow or a horse. Oh, OK, got it. It's orc shit. Yeah, I think it's orc shit, guys. <laughs> I don't know. I've I've just kept walking. I don't even know that you did this. I am <laughs> oblivious. With my my uh, high in nature, would I be able to determine what this is? Being yeah. a druid and being uh, how do you want to uh, go about that... figuring out what kind of poop this is? Uh, well... Are we doing a taste test? Are we crumpling it? Are we <laughs> pulling out a makeshift microscope? Honestly, I I, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go up to it smell it and mush it in my fingers like this just to get the texture and the understanding. Okay. Uh, as, as you kind of rub the poop together, right. Uh, as you are in a cornfield, uh, there's definitely some remnants of corn. Um, mm-hmm. I think they remembered eating it. So that's good. Um, but yeah, you do derive that it is in fact orc shit. Okay. Team, this is, this is orc. Orc has been here. The red moon rises. You, you, you say that out to everyone? Yes. Okay. How do Is you roll for investigation and stuff like that? Um, so again, like uh, in the, either in D&D Beyond, um, there'll be like your skill list, right? And it'll have like perception, investigation, stealth, all that kind of things. So you can either click right. on that and it'll roll for you directly with the addition oh. there, or you can roll the D20 manually and then next to your investigation, it'll say like zero or plus one, two, whatever. You just add that onto it. Okay. All righty. Well, I suppose if we have confirmed that it is indeed orc shit and we have a cow that was indeed, we assume, to be slaughtered by an orc was eaten along with the corn, hence now orc shit. <laughs> I suppose uh, we should find a defensive line that's relatively close, see if we could do some more reconnaissance to their whereabouts, get a rough idea as to where they're at, put up a camp just a little outside of their perimeter and make a plan of attack. What do you guys say? I don't think we need a camp. I think we need to go investigate the farmhouse and see if Alphonse is still safe. What? Ah, yes. This would be an important step, would it not? Can't uh, hear so you guys. Yeah. I'm really I'm, far yeah. away. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go join uh, per per Perxirus and go investigate the farmhouse and make sure that the guy that we're here to save is savable. By the so end of the night, Bill, if you're not accidentally calling him. his character Persephone, I'm gonna be very upset. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I, know I, how I, to pronounce X. No, I I I didn't intend it, but like I was like. This is a stupid. Hold on. Say it one more time, and I'm gonna I'm gonna type it out phonetically for myself. (laughs) Perk Cirrus. Perk Cirrus. Got it. Or as he would pronounce it in his native tub, Bubblegum Shrimp Boy. (laughs) Bubblegum. (laughs) Nicknames they just flow. Hey, good job on that shit, native. You did a good job, baby. Uh. (laughs) Huh. <clears throat> to the farmhouse. All right, you guys are heading to the what? farmhouse. Onward. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll go catch up to Perxirus. Uh As you, what did they talk about back there? What's going on? Uh, one of them found some shit and said it was orc. Oh, so well, keep that your would eyes explain peeled. why the cow was ripped up. Yes, they they tend to be quite hungry. Hey, um, I actually I forgot the cow leg up there. You think you could go grab it for me? It it will be fine until we find Alphonse. 
I was really looking forward to that. You know, nice little steak tonight. Yes, yes, I, leg, agree. Right? I agree. I agree. There are, there are other matters, though, currently. Yeah, I guess. I do like killing orcs. Well, you can be first in line then, my friend. Aren't I always? Hopefully. Um, Unless okay. I'm dead, in which case, you know. But we don't <laughs> tell people that, right? Like. <clears throat> anyway, uh, yeah, let's go. All right, we're all heading to the farmhouse? Yep. Yes, sir. All right. Yep. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch over here to... Uh, whoops. Wrong button. To the farmhouse. Whoop. To see. You will find yourselves kind of like in the middle, if everything's black for you right now. <clears throat> yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Yes. is black except for we're in front of a stairwell mm -hmm. yeah about okay, cool. like two and a half rows um what's our marching order going up to this farmhouse i'll be in the lead perxius first yeah i think it would be perxius and then me since okay. I, was I'm in the room. I am gonna kind of unlimber my hand axes and my uh and my belt unbutton their little clasps get them ready just okay. in case <laughs> All right. Uh, as you approach the farmhouse with the destruction and flint torching of all the fields around, the farmhouse seems relatively untouched. You're not hearing really any sounds from inside. There's no like torch marks on the roof, uh, scratches on the walls. The door is closed. It doesn't seem to be broken into at all. Um, what do you guys want to do? Um, I look around and I don't see like orc or anything it doesn't doesn't appear that we're like walking into it is it quiet like are there sounds coming from inside the house or anything it is absolutely quiet i'd like to do a, a quick check around the perimeter of the, the okay. structure around the outside of the structure okay yeah yeah i'm before, gonna search for a light in. to turn on uh <laughs> give give me give me a, a perception or investigation there native we'll do investigation yeah. since you're actively looking uh Oh, I do that on roll 20. Yeah. Yes, D20. sir. Yeah, you can do D20. a D20, then add on there, or roll. you can just click investigation. It'll add it all to you for you. Oh, okay. I, I rolled on D20, and then investigation is plus one. Okay. So 18? 18. 18. Yes, nice, dude. All right. Uh, as you move around the outside of the house, uh, you do notice numerous windows, and none of them seem to be broken, shattered, scratched of any kind. Um, but there is a curtain pulled over every single one, so you cannot look inside. But you still find We're not no inside signs. inside the house yet. You're not inside. <clears throat> okay. But you still see no sign of breaking and entering, right? Um, there is a well on the back side of the house. Okay. And so I, I complete my loop, and I come back to our team, and I let them know what I've seen. All I right. will say... It is Sorry, strange. What? You saw you saw the orc shit out there, yes? Yes. If there was an encampment here, it would make sense that the house would be left untouched for a commander of some sort, yes? Yes. I ranking a, a, an officer of some sort if it's an organized army. Yes, perhaps. Defensive we need to position with caution coming in here. Zarak. Well, either I want to go investigate that well or inside the house. And I'm pushing for inside the house. I want to see <laughs> if I can find a light to turn on first. Uh, I before think we should... approach the house, I'm just going to call out the guy's name Alphonse Calazorn. Is there anyone home? Hello? You wait as you're, as the name of the words leaving your mouth echo kind of around the area. Um, a little further than expected with all the corn being melted down. Um, but you hear nothing in return. Nothing. Nothing came back. Is that nothing what came back. Nope. You hear, you hear no callback. Yeah. I'd, I'd repeat myself a couple times just to be sure. Okay. Same thing happens every time. Dang. I want you to are, look inside the house. 
Zarak, you are stealthy, yes? Perhaps you mm, should... Uh, yes. If you separate yourself just slightly from the group, then you can be our... <clears throat> you can ambush anybody should they then try to sneak up on us. Stealth is plus two, and I rolled a nine. Eleven. Okay. You feel like you're killing it. All right. Did we see him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, we just, we're like, mm, yeah. It's no, kind of like that, that um, right. Emperor's New Groove when he's taking uh, taking him out, you know, the, the main henchman guy. Oh, the, the lever crunk. crunk. He's doing the, like his own theme song while sneaking through town. Yeah, kind of like that going on. Yes, yes. So I approach the front door. Oh, okay. Um, I, you should have control of your token if you'd like to uh, move towards the door. Don't go crazy far, but... What direction is the door? Uh, the door's going to be... We should... that's a, sorry, the door's going to be at the top of those stairs in front of you. Let me do a better uh, ho Hold for a moment, Zarak. Remember, you can check for traps. Ah. Uh, I believe I am here. Yeah, I was gonna before he like opens the door or anything. I was gonna uh, kind of like put my hand on his shoulder and hold him back and, and check for traps at the front door. Okay. Um, remind me, is that just sleight of hand, right? Kind of. Uh, uh, it's up to you. Yeah, we'll yeah. go. We'll go sleight of hand since you're trying to be light, slight with your hand. Will you check? Hell yeah. The uh, light. All right, sleight of hand. Sleight of hand's pretty good. <laughs> 10. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you're moving your hand around the door, it is your, I mean, it catches you immediately. This door is very well made, right? It's solid, nice and car you know, nice carving into it. It smells really nice. Um, but as far as you can tell, there's no traps on this door. Interesting. Um, Check I'm going unlocked. to, I'm going, yeah, I'm going to turn the handle and check if it's locked. Uh, the handle turns completely and you can hear the latch undo itself. All right. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just, uh, just to make things interesting, uh, I'm going to knock and call the guy's name one more time and then like slowly open the door into the house. Okay. And we're in the same order, right? We're in the um, order I'm seeing our, our people right now. Yeah, right? I think it would be me and then Zarek. Okay. Zarok. All right, let's hold right there here. So you knock, call out the name. Uh, again, the knock echoes around. No um, no one responds to the name. But as you go inside, here, Bill, go back a little bit. There you go, buddy. Uh, as you enter the room, though. Oh, boy. Um, bum, bum. It's full of daisies. No. It's full of orcs. Holy oh, shit! Fuck. Roll initiative, boys. They're in the house already. They're roll coming initiative from inside, is 20, the right? house. inside the house. So roll the d20 really on your character sheet. There'll be a box towards the top that says initiative, and that'll be what you add yeah. to your d20 for your initiative. Initiative. Where is initiative? Oh, I see. I rolled a 12. Oh, Paraxis, I see. You rolled too. That's yeah. kind of cool. It's all linked together? Yeah. Because we're in the same so, campaign. I have no <clears throat> idea where initiative. Oh, okay. So I, I don't have to sit there and do it on roll. Um, I've got your character sheet pulled up here, buddy. Uh, so do you see where your armor class is on your character sheet, Sweaty? Uh, it looks like a armor? shield towards the top. Be back 30 seconds. Yeah, no problem at all, buddy. So, Tor I have so, no idea. Um, you have your strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, all those boxes at the top of your character sheet, right? Oh, okay. So do yeah. you see your oh. armor class? To okay. the left of that is initiative. So you'll just add I see it now. Yep, add two to that, and that'll be, uh, depending on how everyone else rolls, this will be what order everyone takes their turn in. Seven plus two? Nine. Okay, one second as I get turn order figured out here. The room's full of ox ladies. Strap up and get ready for the fight. Dear God. What's happening? <laughs> All right, let me roll a 
the darkness crawls in the deepest of corners, has Every found itself day. within the room that we have just entered. Hell seeking a permanent place down the sides of our throats. Oh, nice. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the orcs did really good on initiative. Uh... <laughs> uh... This is gonna be our last one shot because we're really all sick. gonna be well, dead. Well, it was fun, Fud. <laughs> Thanks You're for all having gonna us. get one shot. Um, all right, uh, Native, what is your initiative, buddy? Uh, I already had rolled that. Uh, it was a 12. 12. I believe. Thank you, sir. Yeah, 12. Um, sweaty? 10 plus 2. Mine was 9. Okay. Uh, Billy? 15. Nice. And then Russ? I had a nine. Okay. Oh. Um, Showdown. Who goes first is based on what, or again, if you match your rolls? Um, whoever has the highest is it dexterity is dexterity. usually what I do. Okay. Uh, Sweaty, what's your dexterity? Uh, yes. Uh, it's one of those boxes <laughs> at the top again. Sorry. Uh, uh, yeah. 15 plus two. 15 plus two. Perfect. Uh, Russ? Uh, oh, my dexterity is a plus one. Or, or okay, it's cool. a 12. 12. Okay, perfect. So, Sweaty, you will be going before Russ. Perfect. Let me get these in order here. Yeah, perfect. Uh -huh. Let's keep the tank in the back. Everything is going <laughs> according to plan. Perfect. All right, so as you recall, Sweaty, um, from playing Baldur's Gate, right, as we enter combat, um, initiative happens, which is everyone's icons usually at the top of the screen in Baldur's Gate, right? Um, during everyone's turn, right, so during your turn, you'll have your movement, and then you can do an action, right? Um, mm -hmm. And then a bonus action. So you'll have your, move, your movement speed on your character's sheet. Fine, it's 30 feet. Um, each square is five feet. So that'll be always 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. That's how far you can move in this house and still be able to attack. You can choose to dash, which doubles that, but you can't attack that turn, if that makes sense. Okay. Well, you can. Well, I think at level five, a rogue can. They have the cunning action. Oh, so I they can six. Okay, hold on. Let me double check that he has that. Oh, it might be six. I just know they have it at some point. I'm checking. I'm checking. I'm looking at a sheet right now. Where they can disengage as a bonus action. Nope, I love you that have that. You're good. You got there. Oh, that's not what I want. Um, all right. Here we go. All right. So <laughs> the orcs get to go first. And who oh, walks into orcs. the house first? But our dear friends, Sweaty Spooks and Bill Nye. Not the tank. <clears throat> not, not the tank. All right. So this lovely, lovely man right here is going to move mm -hmm. forward into this corner here. Let me get that fog of war taken away. Perfect. And he is going to swing his axe at you, Billy. Yep. How rude. And that is going to be an 11. Miss. Damn it. Ooh, let's go. Too quick. Got my, my monk skills. Ooh, here we go. This bad boy over here is going to approach you, Sweaty. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Let me give you a... I Bring think this it works. On. I think I can click this button. It'll just put it in chat. Here's what you're looking at. Oh, yes. Handsome lad. With the shit in this armor of Corn the shit. belly. Yeah. Of his fallen. All right, so he is going to swing at you. And again, so the number he rolls goes against your armor class, which will be at the top of your screen. If he gets a number underneath it, he misses you. If he gets higher, obviously it hits. And if he matches your armor class, he does hit. So meets it, beats it. Armor class. Trying to find that. The, the shield one right in, It's like right, uh, kind of right in the center of the screen. It's the shield. Uh, ah, just to the okay. right of initiative, it. since we found Got that it. earlier. Got it. Right. 
see it. Got it. Um, so your first role <laughs> in the campaign, Sweaty, was a one, correct? Yes. Okay. The first role against you was a natural 20. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, hi, yeah. First uh, hit of the game is a crit. Yikes. Um, so he does. <laughs> oh, that's not too. It's only 10 damage, though. He does 10 damage to you. Critting. Uh, Boom. Ow. Um, so again, at the top of your screen, oh, uh, you can just click your current hit points and then just you can either do the math quickly take and type it off. in or click the down arrow and cl- take 10 off. Yes, okay. sir. Got it. It could have been way worse than 10. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but it, is it time to strike back? Not until it Not is yet. your turn. <clears throat> okay. Or I you get a, I can't remember what level, but there'll be some sort of reactionary things you can do when you get attacked. Uh, uh, like this, yeah. Rogues get, they can have the damage they take from slashing or piercing. Okay. I think it's the reaction thing. Um. All right. This a bad boy over here is actually... One, two. No, he's going to come up here to you, Sweaty. Oh, boy. Because you're right there, man. And he Hello, is going sweetheart. to swing at you with his great axe. Oh, yeah. Is it a good axe? No. No, it is not. It's a great axe. That definitely misses with an eight. He's grumpy. <laughs> this one right here. Jesus. Is going to come up between you guys. Man, I thought I got a good, good initiative. Yeah, they got really good Um, And he's going to swing at you, Billy. Okay. With. Hold on, something's happening here. Let's do this. There we go. Uh, 13. Miss. Miss. All right, perfect. Let's go. He goes to swing his axe, uh, just the excitement of watching his friend hit someone else really hard and swings it right by your bald head or your birdie head. Yep. <laughs> um, and this last one in the his corner head. is holding a javelin in his hand, but he doesn't really have a shot on anybody, so he's kind of holding, and he's going to move over a spot. All right. Um, and that is going to take us to Bill. Your turn, baby. Oh, boy. All right. Well, the first guy that uh, came at me, um, I am going to hit him with an unarmed strike. Okay. Uh, for a twenty, not not a crit, but a twenty total. Just a dirty, nice. slutty little twenty. A dirty, oh, dirty, yeah. filthy twenty. Oh my god! Um, for nine bludgeoning damage. Nice. Um, and then because uh, there's a lot of guys in this rune, I'm gonna go ahead and use a key point and do flurry of blows for two nice. more uh, unarmed strikes. I believe oh, it's nice. two. Uh, Flurry of Blows. Yeah, I can use a key point to use my bonus action uh, to do two more unarmed strikes. So I'm going to do that. Monk time. Monk shit. Um, Monk shit. So another one. Oh, that one. Damn. Ooh, a natural one? Yeah. (laughs) And then my second one. No, no, no. Pause real quick. I want to need you to roll me. Okay. Roll me a d20. No, 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 no. Straight D20. Yep. (laughs) Eight. Okay. Um, Give me one second. The damage. Get this one. I forgot to get this pulled up. All right. You rolled a watt in your D20? Eight. Okay. Well. Damn, you're lucky. Normally, they'd make you drop your weapon, but your weapon's your hand, and you can't just drop your hand. So <laughs> <laughs> your, your knuckle kind of grazes the wall, and you're like, ah, ooh, that kind of stung. All right. Lucky. All right, what was the um, next strike? Second, second, 18. Yep, that hits. All right, second one for another six bludgeoning damage. Ooh. Okay. And hold on. Um. There's a lot of guys in here. Okay. Um, all right. Action, bonus action. That's all I can do. So that's my turn. Okay. Yeah, as you finish pummeling this orc, he is like, 
<laughs> he, uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I got one more thing. I got one more thing. Because of my uh, way of the open hand monk subclass, whenever I hit with a flurry of blows attack, I can impose an effect um, on a creature. Okay. Uh, so, what effect do you want to throw at um, this guy? This guy, uh, he needs to make a DC 11 dex save, and if he fails, he falls prone. Oh, perfect. Okay. Dex save. And he is prone. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, stupid orc. Um, Which yeah, so I, like, I like unload on him with my fist and then trip him. <laughs> and he's just on the ground like, oh, why did I run up here first? Um, so with him Which being prone, up? that means you automatically crit when you hit him, correct? Yep. Okay. Melee attacks. Melee attacks. Correct. Rage attacks are at disadvantage. Because he'll be harder to hit if he's laying down, correct? Mm-hmm. Correct. All right. Let me find the old. Is and he... uh, if, if you'll allow for some flavor, I'm also going to shout out through the door towards our teammates that there's orcs in here and to hurry the fuck up. Oh, absolutely. Thank you. What? You're kind of <laughs> far away. Not next. Did you Get shut the door? Here! My big ass elf ears can hear it. I got you. All right. Uh, that's it for you, Billy. Yep. All right, buddy. That brings us to Native. You're next, baby. Okay. Um, so I have a movement of 35. Okay. Um, let's see. 20. To the top of the stairs. Uh, so you can either, if you want to walk in, you can, yeah. the squares are kind of wonky by the door. You can either take that frame by the door or sneak in behind Billy or Sweaty. Okay. Understood. Just make sure to leave room for me. I'm coming in the swinging. I'm coming in and I'm going to go right behind Sweaty. Okay. Oh, I'll move. Sweaty, oh, yeah, so. there you go. There you go. There, there we go. Uh, here, <laughs> I am going to use my bonus action and cast Shalele. Ooh. Okay. Good stuff. It's a good one. Classic you, druid move. Go ahead and uh, let Sweaty know yeah, what that no. does. And for everyone watching at home. Yeah. So Shalele like imbues my quarter staff with uh druid magic of the dragon gods. I, I don't know if that's true. But it it does imbue it with it's good like, flavor it's, text. Uh, I like that. Yeah. It's yeah. freaking awesome it's, anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Enhanced. I am the tree dragon. That's my name. So um, I, I, so I cast Shalele on my, uh, on my quarter staff, and then I am going to attack the man in the middle here. Okay. Perfect. With, with my quarter staff. Um, and actions, actions. I, I, I just roll staff, right? Yeah. So you can either roll a D 20 and add that hit DC next to your staff, or if you actually click in the box where hit DC is next to your staff, it'll roll it for you with the plus attached to it. So you don't have to do okay, any so math. There's one thing that I'm, so on staff that I have here on my character sheet, I got two different options to pick from. All right, let me click on your staff. There's one that's a, a 1d6 plus two, and then a 1d8 plus two. So, so that it's is versatile? correct. <clears throat> Sorry. No, you're good, you're good. No. So that is, um, yeah, versatile weapon means you can use it one-handed or two-handed, right? So okay. one of those is the damage that'll happen if you're swinging it in one hand which will be the 1d6 plus 2. And if you're using it two-handed, that gives it more force behind the swing, and that'll be the 1d8 plus okay. 2. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to grasp my quarterstaff imbued with all this power and looking at at, at uh, Zarok, uh, obviously you know encumbered by enemies here, and I'm going to swing at, at the enemy in between my two uh, teammates here. And that's this one right so here. I'm, 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 okay. Go ahead and swing that. Oh. I got an eight, so a ten damage to the the middle foe, or ten to hit, right? Oh shit! I, yeah, you gotta I, you I gotta roll that. to hit okay. first. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So that'll be that that um, hit slash DC with this plus five. Um, okay, okay, yeah, hit that one first. Eighteen. That hits twenty three. There hit. you go. Oh, and yeah, that rolling hits. rolling for damage? Yeah, go ahead and give me a separate damage roll since that first one was... Four. Four, okay. <laughs> Perfect. Let me do that. <laughs> <laughs> kind of rubs the back of his head. 
Um, <clears throat> you've attacked. You already did your bonus action to imbue. I believe that's it for you, right? Yes. Okay. That is it. Perfect. Uh, that will take us to Senor Sweaty Speaks. As you are surrounded, my man. I am indeed surrounded. Are you scared, though? Um, no. Of course not. I am not scared. Absolutely not. Uh, okay. Question, <clears throat> real quick. Yeah, um, uh, Ryuke, did you roll a d10, or did you roll the d8? Uh, one d8 plus two for the attack. Uh, because you're shillelagh, so what you need to do is look at the spell, and it does one d10 plus three. Okay. It, oh, it I, replaces I, 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 the damage because oh, what you're doing okay. is you're imbuing, you're imbuing your staff <clears throat> with that. So spell. this is base. This is a base staff hit that I just did. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Gotcha. 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 That makes sense. So go ahead and reroll it can either be the one d10 because it could be more okay. damage. Go um, ahead. So it'll be a d10 uh, plus two action. Okay, I see it in bonus action. Shillelagh. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. One. 1d10 plus 3 is what it's Ooh, showing Ooh, plus 3. Me. Nice. Yep. Roll that, baby. Yep. 8. So, 11. Damn. Yeah, that's way better damage than you did before. Sir. That's way more damage than you did before. Good shit. Ah! Now, now his kind of head kind of hits his chest for a second. Oh. <laughs> All right. Now we go to Senor Sweaty Spooks. Um, You are able to... Attack. Um, so you are able to attack. Uh, use use your dagger to attack once. You can use your bonus action to attack again. Um, and since you are a master with your daggers, that means you can do the um, the damage bonus, that plus three, with any attack you do during a turn. Perfect. So you are that able to swing twice if you want. Definitely looking to swing twice. Uh, let's see. Who's our this target? guy that's in between? This guy that's uh, prone right now. Is he still alive? Uh, the prone guy's in front of Bill. So he's kind of over here. Ah. That's not going to be in melee range. What about the one that's between us? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you can strike him for sure. Okay. So there's that one and to the opposite of him to my left on the map. Okay, yep, I see what you're saying. I'm going to strike him twice. So with the damage, correct? Piercing? Uh, so to strike first, you're going to roll that um, the hit slash DC where it says plus six. So that'll be okay. either a D20 plus six, or you can just hit that button, and it'll roll it with the a plus six added onto it for you. Rolling. So everything will always be a roll to hit first, and then damage if you do hit. Can't see because there's an icon in the way. 10 plus 6, so 16. 16 does hit. Very well done, buddy. Hell yeah. So that'll be a 1d4 plus 3. And again, you can just click that in uh, D&D Beyond. It'll roll it and add it for you. Here we go. think it's 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5, Okay. Um, and you said that was the one to your left or the one between you and Bill? To my left. Okay, copy. Got you, buddy. All right, and I five. Nice. You kind of jab him in oh, the shoulder the there and, chat on that. and pull the... You what? Uh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I, I was just realizing something here in uh, D&D Beyond. Like, I saw that the, you can pull up, like, the actions of everybody rolling as well on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's that, really that's, cool. That's helpful. Yeah, and that's right. come a long way over the years, too. They just, uh, yeah, it's a really cool thing, um, especially for when you're teaching people how to play, where it does all the math for you and just click here to do that. Yeah. And it's a really good tool to use. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Our uh, second swing, are you doing it the same guy or the one between the you and Same Bill? guy. Perfect. Let's get it, baby. Hit so, DC. Yes, sir. Let's do it. I don't know what that is. Hopefully it's a number. Oh, 20 plus six. 
Was nice. that a natural Nat 20, 20, baby? That was a natural 20. Ooh. Nice. All right, so what you're going to do there, right, is you're going to roll your damage twice and then add those together. The hit slash DC or... Da oh, damage. Damage. damage, damage. Correct. Roll that twice. Roll okay. that twice. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, other DMs, because he has weapon mastery, that still adds his plus to both Two of the roll. crit damages, right? To both rolls for damage. Uh, okay, so uh, seven usually was the first. So you want me to roll it one more time, right? Yes, sir. It's either okay. uh, double the mm -hmm. dice or double the damage. Okay. And then you add your modifier on top. So it doesn't okay, double cool. the modifier. Then we're good. Yep, I do double the dice. Second mm -hmm. roll is five. All first right. roll seven, second five. Seven plus five mm -hmm. is? Yes. Twelve. I, believe. <laughs> oh, I was hoping you get there. That's it. <clears throat> 12 damage, baby. This bad boy Dang. to your left. As as you stab him in one side of the chest, you stab him in the other side of the chest and rip your daggers Twist. out. He, oh, his eyes kind of wide because he didn't... No, he's the one that critted you. And he's like, no, it was the other way. Ah. And he falls back dead. Yeah. Eric. Let's go, baby. You got one. Yo, you got the best KD so far. <laughs> <laughs> Want to know? <laughs> All right, and I believe uh, unless you, oh no, you already did your off there. That I believe that's it for you, right, sweetie? <clears throat> um, let's see. There's. Can I do a bonus action or no? Uh, your bonus action was your secondary attack, if I'm recalling this awesome. rule correctly. Yes. Correct. All right, sweet. Then I guess that's it. All right. Uh, that brings us finally to the tank, Russ. Hey, you can join the fray. I might get to do something. Okay. Um, <clears throat> get in here. Yeah. So I was looking up the rules specifically for push, uh, but I didn't see anything. But basically what I'd like to do is run in here right under the door. Okay. And I want to push this guy. Let's see. Can I ping? Yeah. Yes. That guy. Okay. Uh, as hard as I can away. I am trying to clear Ooh, up. Oh, I see what you're saying. Got you. Mm, so like it's it. basically uh, your strength against his, if I recall correctly, right? I think so. Okay, let's do it. That's the okay. way we're going to do it then. Yeah. Uh, let me just make sure. I Do you want... Now, here's a question. Yes, sir. Is it athletics? Um, this will be, mm. as you're trying to shove him with all your might, that is going to be strength. Okay, just straight strength. Straight okay. strength. Okay. I tried. That's a 22. Yep. You nice. definitely beat him. He rolled 13. Okay. All right. Um, is there any like text for how far that's actually going to shoot him? It's usually 10 feet. Okay, cool. Good to know. Five, 10. I think, but that's up to you. Again, cool. he uh, actually, he was facing the other way. So he doesn't hear you come in because of everything going on and is suddenly just yeah. in the air. <laughs> It lands cool. 10 feet away. And okay. since you and gonna... overpowered him by a lot, he is also going to be prone. Cool. Uh, and then I'm just going to move up into the space between the three of them right there. Okay. Beautiful. And that is my action. I'll that's save my movement. <laughs> Nicely done, buddy. Uh, and that's it for you? Nice. Uh, yeah, and I'm just going to, as, as I'm running in, I'm just going to scream, you all remember the name of my mother, Helga? Brave bottom. I don't know. Oh, huh? I went Scottish. I told you this accent's going to be all over the place. <laughs> yeah. That's just going to be. Like you were Dracula really, really for a while. Really like you were. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I like. Well, I that's the thing. I got accents for this game. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, you said you're spreading your story far and wide. It makes it interesting if everyone, yeah, you know, thinks you talk differently, right? Right, right, right. Um, Billy, question for you. Yeah. Uh, the bad boy you proned. That's not like a special thing where he's prone for like three rounds. It's just. Until he gets no, up, just he just yeah he just got knocked brown. I Perfect. tripped him. All right, says so back up to the orcs. He is gonna go ahead and stand up, which will be his movement. Let me get rid of this, and he is angrily, oh God, rah, he's gonna swing at you, Billy. Mm-hmm. Fucking bring it with a eighteen. Okay, that hits. Yep, 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 yep. Four. Ooh, that's really bad. Four damage. Oof. That is the worst damage he can roll. 
lick his butt a scratch. <laughs> and he angrily growls at you. Um, this one here, uh, watching his friend is, he's kind of confused right now. His friend just died to his right. His other buddy just flew out of nowhere to the left of him. And then a half giant appears next to him. So he's going to panic and swing at you, Russ, but yep. as flavor, cause I like adding flavors. It is going to be disadvantaged because he's kind of panicking right now. Okay. Um, so it disadvantages sweaty. Um, mm -hmm. so disadvantages where you'll roll, you'll roll twice and you'll take the smaller number, right? If you're rolling with advantage, you'll roll twice and take the higher number. Okay. So roll twice D20, just straight D20. Um, or if it's like an attack, you'll just roll with your, your regular attack roll with the plus on it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You still add your modifiers, Correct. but you take whichever roll. Is uh, higher. so his disadvantage, right? Is going to be a 10. Does that hit you, Russ? No, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Mm -hmm. um, our other guy is going to go ahead and stand up as well, because it is his turn now. If it'll let me do the thing. There it is. Thank you. Love you long time. <laughs> and he is also going to swing at you. <laughs> yep. And that is also a 10. Fuck you guys. No. <laughs> All right. Uh, this one in the distance. Says the guy rolling nat 20s. and I was only one. <laughs> uh, this guy in the corner here is going to move over here, and he's going to attempt to throw a javelin at you, Russ. Yep. He's kind of keeping his distance. And that's going to be an 18. That hits. All that right. Is there it is. Javelin here. As that slices into you for eight damage. Eight damage. Eight yeah. damage as he hurls it from the corner, excited to finally have an opportunity. Now's my time to shine, and it makes it through. A slight Hurrah! comes from his lips. And it just sticks Ooh, right in between, right under my uh, breastplate. Attacked, 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 dead. That brings us to Bill again. Um, all right, I'm going to do another uh, unarmed strike on the guy in front of me. Okay. Uh, for a 10? Uh, 10 does not hit. Damn, okay. Um, <clears throat> all right, uh, I'm going to use unarmed strike and use my bonus action for another hit. Okay. 12. Ooh, baby, barely doesn't hit. Ah, oh, damn. So close. All right, well, uh, I think that was action bonus action. I think that's all I can do. All right, man. You gave it yep. your all. Bummer. Uh, Native, we're back to you, baby. As you're in the corner, yes, one sir. orc dead to your left, another shoved away from your right. Clown, clowns to the left and me, jokers to the right, stuck in the middle with you. What do you got? With you, babe. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to use my cantrip, Produce Flame. As a bonus action. Okay. Nice. And then I, I'm going to move uh, right here in the middle of my team. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. And I'm going to attack this orc with my Shalele imbued quarter staff. All right. Uh, so rolling for hit. Correct. A Rooney. <laughs> Fucking two. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it wasn't a one. Uh, sadly, does, that does not hit. Yeah. Something about the stonework in the house when you produce flame, it kind of glinted in your eye for just a second too long, and you, you swung and you missed. Okay. Okay. Anything and else? And that ends my turn. All right. Uh, that brings us to Sweaty Spooks. One dead orc at lunch. your feet. <clears throat> right. So the guy that is directly north of me, this guy right I here? am going to okay. attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring yeah. it on, baby doll. All right. So hit DC plus six. Click. <laughs> now, now you, you got to roll for, for hit. Yeah, that is that is hit. Uh, okay. 16 plus six for 22. <laughs> now, nice. is that the guy that I need to roll twice for or no? No, 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 he, the, that guy had to roll twice for, I was just explaining in case uh, this came up for you in the future, what that got particular it. term meant. All right. So 22 then 22 hits my man. 
All righty. Now, for bonus action, produce flame can trip. Uh, let's uh, do am I able... damage on your strike first. Okay, perfect, perfect. So, another one. Er, yeah, 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 yeah. Damage. That's going to be five. Okay, perfect. All right, anyway, now you can ask your question. I apologize. Um. So, yeah, I guess we're doing the bonus action, produce flame. Do I just click the same thing? Uh, hit DC plus four. Um, so something to remember um, is produce flame, right, as a spell is going to produce it in your hand, which you're holding a dagger in. So you'll either need to put one oh. dagger away to have the flame or continue to use both daggers. I'll continue to use both daggers. Okay, perfect. Which then gives so you the opportunity case, to strike I... again. Yes. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to strike that same guy again. All right, perfect. I love this. So plus six on hit DC is da, 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 da. one plus six is seven. Was that a natural uh, one, buddy? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> again? No way you rolled a natural yeah. one. Yeah. And that was Damage the... is six. Okay, well, that doesn't matter because you rolled a natural one. Roll me a d20, my friend, and let us see natural what happens D20. with you with your natural one in combat. Ooh. Natural oh, d20, here we go. Two. Two. All right. Let's see. Yes. You with... may be able to do produce flame after all. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right. <laughs> no. With a two, my friend, you do, uh, you horribly miss, and you kind of accidentally um, just nick Native just a slight bit. Native, you take one damage. <laughs> As you are Damn. right next to him. Okay. One damage. Son of a bitch. <laughs> you walk. I look up. at him and I, I grin, <laughs> in with with a fierce look. You know, <laughs> that's what's happening right now. I love that. I laugh and shrug. This guy is <laughs> all about revenge. Oh yeah! And you just stabbed him. <laughs> <laughs> that is Done so fucked true. up, my boy. That's so awesome. Uh, Russ, that brings us to you, baby. As you all are right, surrounded baby. by orcs right now. Yeah. Do it perfect. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlimber my great axe. Okay. And I'm going to start swinging, baby. Here we go. And that's First using it attack. with two hands, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, that is a 20. Dirty natural? To hit. 20 to hit. Okay, 20 to hit. Got you, got you, got you. Uh, which one are you swinging at right now? Uh, I am swinging at homeboy right in front of me. All right, you got it, babe. Yep, that okay. definitely hits him. Uh, that is going to be a <laughs> yeah, really 14, well. 14 damage. All right. As you yeah. bring forth your ax with two hands and just start fucking going to town, your ax just slides, slices through him like a butter skull ranch as he Perfect. falls <laughs> to the floor, <laughs> blood spewing from his chest. So as part of the new core rule book, because I have mastery with great axes. Okay. I can use an ability called cleave. And what it does is once per turn, if you hit a creature with a melee attack using a great axe, you can make another melee attack with it against a second creature within five feet of the first that's within your reach on a hit. The second creature takes great axe damage. It'll be without my ability modifier. Okay. So I kind of like if kind of like how cleave works with a battle master. Okay, cool. Yep, you're good. Um, so for our new players and people in the chat, uh, Russ is kind of the first one. You th this new kind of rule book that's an addition to 5e, right? Just launched a couple days ago, last week or something. Um, so yeah. he's bringing some of that into his character. So it's it's exciting to kind of learn alongside everyone with what, what kind of the new accessory rules that are coming in to let you really customize your character are going to be. So this is yeah. the first time. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. All right. Bring it on. Uh, <clears throat> so the next attack is going to be a 21 to hit. Okay. And that's which one is that? Uh, that'll be the one to the north. Okay. Got you. All right. That definitely hits. Okay. Damage on that one is going to be a a four. A four? Okay. You know what? And I'm going to go ahead and pump a smite into that. Because um, I can determine. 
I can determine that after I hit. Okay. Of whether I want to use a smite. Go for it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use a divine smite. Uh, that's an extra 2d8. Jesus that's going to be Christ. eight points of damage. All right. Uh, you only needed two more to kill him. So that was, he's definitely slayed out. Perfect. Um, um, and I again, you just whoom, through one, swing your axe over your head, whoom, through another. And he is with a little also burst dead. of the radiant energy that just kind of pops Sparks his chest out. Yeah. Uh, and I have a second attack for my turn. That's oh, Jesus Christ. Paladins, <laughs> dude. Uh, <laughs> so and I, a, that's a 10 to hit. That will Ooh. miss. So how uh, is Cleave, just so I'm aware, is that something that's like once per turn or is it like a once per short once rest, per long rest? Once per turn. It's once per turn, but it is specific. I have to be using my great axe to be able to use it. I understand. The, okay, cool. I'll and it, it, so it's very limited because it's only some, that's why I pushed them and then moved into the middle gotcha. because it has to be, they have to be right next to you. Oh, so you have to be surrounded. Okay. So there's some, it's, it's powerful, but there's a lot of parameters that have to be hit first before you can do it. I dig right. that. That's fun. All right. Uh, is that it for you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that'll be it for me. All right. Three orcs <laughs> lay dead on the floor. Um, nice. And this brings us back up to the orcs turn. I would like to point out just for fun, as four people have tried to kill this guy, he has mm -hmm. one hit point left. I just want to throw that out there. <laughs> he's been alive the whole time with nothing. So it's great. Anyway. Um, so he is actually as Russ, if you, uh, you missed him. So he's not super pissed at you. Billy keeps beating the shit out of him. So he's going to swing at Billy again. Yep. And that is going to be an 11 miss. Damn. He's pissed. Yeah. Off. He can't kill anyone. Can kill him. It's a, it's the <laughs> battle of the roles right now, man. Get out of here. Uh, this guy in the corner lets out a blood-curdling scream. It the microphone will probably cut it out, but... And he runs forward into the fray here, and he's going to take a swing at you, Russ. Okay. That's the wrong page. That could have been really bad. Oh, God damn it. A 10? A 10 does not hit. Does not hit you. All right. Perfect. And with that blood curdling scream from the doorway at the end, uh, another orc enters in. He cannot do anything until next combat, but he is here now. Oh yeah. boy. As three orcs lay dead, three more alive, one of them barely holding on. That brings us to Billy. All right, here we go. Another unarmed strike. Another 10. Miss. Damn. You two are just uh, going to be attacking each other for the rest of the game. All right. Bonus action. Another unarmed strike. Okay. 17. Cool. All right. No there matter what you do, he's dead. He has one. Yeah. Hit. I just fucking uppercut him. So Shatter finally, as he's kind of, he kind of looks, you know, like he's really feeling himself kind of bobbing and weaving around your fists. You know, hey, you call yourself a monk. Poof. One just hits him just right. And <laughs> down he goes crumbling to the floor. All right. Um, and then I that? just saw this guy run into the room. Can I use my movement to like go through everyone, step oh, over the bodies, and yep. get up next to this guy? I am a okay with that. All right. That's my turn. All right. Perfect. Nicely done. Oryx Ling, just bloody pulped or internal bleeding all around you. Uh, that brings us back to native. Yes, sir. It's uh, all you, baby. Hmm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move first. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and hit right here. And I am gonna use my produce flame and target this fellow. Oh, nice. Okay. Launch that, baby. Okay, so let me roll for do you, you don't roll do you roll for hit for that or no? Uh, for for flame, flame, yes. For yes. Let me get to okay. your character sheet here. Flame, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. It Spells. has a plus six on it. Yep, plus six. six. A ten. Does a ten hit? 
Is that with the plus six? Yes, sir. Okay, got you. Uh, no, that does not. As you kind of you shoot it, finally excited, and it kind of fizzles off to the left of him. He kind of glances at it as it goes by his head. Okay. And then uh, can I shout out to the team as well? Can I communicate? Absolutely. Is that, is yeah. that an action or? No, dude. Communicate okay. all you want. Obviously not like a 10-minute soliloquy, but, you know. Right, right, right. By I the just blood yell of out my to ancestors. Them. <laughs> I, I yell out to them, let's keep one for interrogation. Oh, okay. Oh, I like that. Let's uh, do what we can. And that ends my turn. All right, perfect. Uh, that is going to bring us back to Sweaty Spooks. And again, you can freely I, yes. move. You can't stand in the same space as someone else, but you can freely move around everybody to get to a spot you want to be. Okay. Also, if you want to take the spot of one of these dead guys, let me know. And I'll just move them out of the way so you can sit there. Uh, let's see. I'm going to move in front of this door to block the exit. Um, then I'm going to target. Are you the... just real quick? Sorry. Are you going wide or are you going the direct path to that? Yes. It's a very, very <laughs> important distinction. Are you going wide okay. or the direct path? I'm going to go, excuse me, direct path. All right, direct path. There's going to be an opportunity of attack from this guy right here as you're walking through melee range with him. Um, okay. that, that happens in Baldur's Gate. I'm sure you've noticed that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> as someone who's played D&D extensively, I always forget that in Baldur's Gate, and it gets me every time, and it pisses me off that I don't remember that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he's going to have a free swing at you, and my wife is at the door with food, apparently, so <laughs> that's a natural one. So we're going to see what happens with that right after these messages. Oh, <laughs> natural one. Let's go. First time in my Miss, favor. Miss, Miss Fudd has food. Open up uh, in the Twitch chat. Yo, Raider, we got to get Miss Fudd on the show sometime. Yeah. yeah it, she's, she's a hoot. 100%. I'm going to have a quick puff. While he's away, I'm not going to be far, and I can still yeah, hear I, everything. Yeah, I think he's grabbing food. According to Twitch chat, yeah. be right back. Oh, Russ, it's all dude. up to you. Death! To the foes? <laughs> All right, wait for them to get back and we'll see what happens with this natural one. Oh, uh, they told me to tell you that um, you suck. I mean, that's that, obviously uh, true. They all quit. And uh, that. Okay. Uh, you should uh, take away all their magical equipment. And give it to you? To make it harder. Yeah, and give it to me. Okay. Well, if they quit, <laughs> there's no reason to take it away. So I guess this is just a solo, just you running through here as a paladin. I'm just imagining it's like they DC and they just, like, all their loot just falls <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> uh, what was I? I was playing something the other night. Oh, I was playing Conan Exiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was playing with Egg, and I died. And we had killed a boss. I grabbed the skeleton key, looted it from the boss, and then I like we like a tiger came out of nowhere and attacked us, killed us. And then he stole the skeleton key off my dead body. What it was just bastard. rude. I think I saw you guys talking yeah. about that, or it was another loot room that someone stole stuff from you. I don't remember. Oh, no, I think I was asking if, because it has this bad habit, because it's still, like, I think they've, anyway. Um, yes. Sometimes when you die, your your body will just disappear <clears throat> with all your stuff on it. Oh, like so your like, like, stuff doesn't stay? It's not supposed to. You're supposed to keep your stuff, but sometimes, yes. And so I was asking them, I was like, hey, did you guys pick up my stuff? Or 
that just <laughs> disappeared. It definitely just disappeared. Which is dumb. dumb During this dumb, brief dumb. intermission, our heroes are in the midst of battle. Ready to smell the dripping of the orc blood to soak the floor beneath their boots. Thirsty for blood. Ready to finish them off inside of the house. To continue their investigation and to see what else remains in the house. Stay tuned, Lenny. Stay I tuned vote right we... fucking now. I vote that if we keep playing, he does our recaps. I 100% agree. <laughs> what the hell happened to Discord? I think Bill just dropped. Oh, did Bill drop? Yeah. All right, wait for him to join back I... up. His computer probably froze or died oh, or whatever. No. Well, now everything's going to look funky. <laughs> that's that's fun for OBS, huh? Hello? <laughs> Hello? I know, people can just see the uh -huh. top of my head. Huh? Huh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He's actively farting uh -huh. right now. I couldn't now. hold that. Uh -huh. I, 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 I couldn't hold. My, my, my arms gave out, bro. Uh -huh. <laughs> yup. Excuse me. So, I gotta say, this is a ton of fun. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Yes! Oh, that makes me awesome. happy. That makes me yeah. so happy. No, I'm yeah. serious, man. I'm <laughs> serious. Oh, that makes me so happy, dude. Like, there's, like, chess play in this game, I feel, you know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, really oh, yeah. Kinda, Especially when you're working think. as a team and start working between what... When you really play a ton with each other and, like, understand what okay, each I'm class kind of does. I'm using, I'm using my phone app, so I'm in the call, but I can't see the map. But I still have my character sheet up. Okay. Um, uh, you're take, dead, by yeah, the way. You died. That's what All your you stuff were. dropped. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, the dragon you, out of nowhere. you had just the looted dragon. a talisman that lets you summon Bahamut, and then you disconnected <laughs> and died. So it sucks to be you, dude. Now Damn. the orcs have it, and bad things are happening. Uh, I mean, that's your fault, then. If I was dead, that's on you guys. <laughs> um, all right. So with that natural one, obviously, on the, again, uh, to recap that's here, you were running towards uh, what you thought was a door. It's actually a window, but... Oh, the, um, oh, okay. The window and uh, opportunity of attack. It rolled a one. It actually dropped its weapon. Yes. Prone. Perfect timing to attack. All right. There we go. And now you are, in fact, over in this corner. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, now he's joining on us. Here we go. Is it happy? Be happy, please. Be happy. There we go. Don't Yay, it fixed itself. We're good. Happy. Billy, there, Perfect. buddy. He's muted in Discord. Oh, okay. what, what is the, I'm back. the little icon I'm back. you put on the, you. on the orc? What does that represent? Um, There used to be a better icon for showing that he dropped his weapon, but I'm just going to use that. Okay. As he's trying to fix okay. the situation <clears throat> he's in. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, Sweaty, All you have right. moved. Um, you still have your action and everything if you'd like. I, can I attack? You sure can. It, I would like to attack using my short bow, so that's going to be a hit DC roll, right? Correct. And with that, we are going to roll. What did we get? Uh, which we one are you shooting eight. at? Um, the same one that dropped its weapon. Okay, got you, got you. Uh, you rolled an eight to hit. Eight plus six. Oh, eight plus six. Do that math for me, buddy. You got this. It's your roll. <laughs> yes. It's your well. No, I 14. can do it, but it's your roll. Fourteen. Perfect. That does, in fact, hit my friend. Give me the damage. Okay. You're so doing that's going to be another rule of D and D. DMs don't do math. Nope. Oh, I'm not doing sense. it for you. <laughs> Natural one plus three equals four. Okay. Uh, natural one doesn't matter with like your damage roll, just if, if you're going to hit, so, uh, okay, so yeah, four yeah, yeah. damage to that guy. Four damage. All right. Perfect. He has not been touched now, yet. Because I can't do my actual like bonus action. Can I attack again? Um, the, so your bonus action as a rogue to attack is because of your dual daggers. So with the bow, Ooh, you will not be able to do right, so. Right, 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 right. Copy that. All right. Well, I guess that's it for now. All right. Perfect. Uh, that brings us to Russ. If you need me to move any dead orcs, let me know, buddy. 
Uh, you know what? I'm just going to step on his face because okay. uh, he's just difficult terrain, you know. So I'm just stepping right on there. Uh, and I'm just going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep uh, swinging away. All right. <clears throat> All right. Oh, because you boom. have two right around you again. Yep. Oh, you're going to love tonight uh, then. That's a, a 20 to hit. Okay. That hits. Oh, uh, you're hitting this okay. one in front of you, correct? Correct. Okay. Got yeah, it. the one directly in front of me. Uh, that's a nine, nine points of damage. Ooh, nice. Hell yeah. Exactly what you need is again, man, you just come walking up swinging. Boom. Slicing him open. He doesn't even have a weapon in his hand. He's like, what the? Yeah. And falls down. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and use the cleave. I figured as much. As there's an enemy right For there. Nine to hit. That misses. Yeah. Yeah, I figured. Uh, and then I'll just go ahead and use my second attack. Oh. Does a 10 hit? No. Nope. 10 doesn't hit. I don't think it That misses, my friend. And I just kind of, and I just look at my axe and kind of, as he's like ducking from side to side. <laughs> like, like it did so well. Fault. Yeah. All right. That brings us back up to the top of the list here for the orcs. Or orc. Sorry. As he realizes he's kind of surrounded. He goes, and he swings at you, Russ. Mm-hmm. With a 21. That will hit. That will, in fact, hit you. Ouch. Doing 15 damage. Ooh. Ooh. That is the uh, most so he possibly could do. So I still got the javelin sticking out of my back. And yep. now this guy just boo, right there at the joint between the shoulder and the throat and just cleave down. I'm spewing... My blood is like a dark, dark blue. Mm, 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 mm. Um, and then he is going to actually attempt to run away after hitting you, um, which mm -hmm. will give you an opportunity oh, to attack if you want. Uh, oh, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. It's a nine. Nah, that misses. The, the, like, the axe is covered in blood, you know, just oh, kind of yeah. slips just slightly in my hand. And he is going to slip through that door, and as far and the door is closed, as far as you know. Well, you don't know. You just know he's gone. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What are we doing? We have a room full. I'll bring this one back oh, just over here to show. We have a room full of dead orcs everywhere. Weapons spewing about. Javelins sticking out of friends. Bruised palms. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to this door. Okay. And I am going to attempt to wedge it shut for the time being so that it cannot be opened. How are you attempting to wedge this shut? I'm going to use my axe. I'm going to use okay. my great axe. Gimli style. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Um, give does, it me... open, does it open outward from where we're at? or does It, it does. Open it opens outward. Hmm. Uh, then, yeah, I'm just going to kind of <clears throat> wedge it. Oh, gosh, how would you do that to keep it from? I mean, there's a... I guess... I... Yeah, I'll let you figure it out. It's not my job to figure it out. No, no, no. I I'll wedge it, because <clears throat> if I wedge it in... You know what? I'm just going to grab onto that handle and hold it. All right. Be like, you guys search the bodies. I'll hold the door. Give me a... um. Strength check, just so I have something to go against if anyone tries to take the door down while you're looting. What about athletics? Um, well, because, again, you're using strength to hold the door shut. I, I appreciate what you're trying to do, and I know what you're trying to do. So I usually use do use athletics in situations such as this. Well, that's why you're not me. I don't want to Just tell saying. you what I got. No, I know, I know. No, well, tell me. <laughs> I got a one on the dice. Okay. Plus three. I don't know if you count the critical failures for skill checks. No, uh, what, what we'll do is, because you got hit in the neck, there was some blood, like, on your hand. <clears throat> you went to grab the handle and kind of, like, whoop, bat, and face plant against the door for a second. You can try again if you want. Uh, I, hold on, hold on. 
do I have like height pittance? Yeah, I'll try again. Uh, Wagyu Beef in chat. Thank you, man. He says, hey, guys, this is my first time watching anything D&D related. Seems interesting. I respect the hell out of the creativity involved. Appreciate that. That's super nice. Oh, that is nice. <coughs> uh, is, a, yeah. is a five better? That's better. Yeah. Is it enough? We'll find out in the future. All right, guys. So uh, our paladin is holding the door shut. What are you guys doing? I was going to chase after him. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll talk that out. Yeah, uh, I would run up to the door and kind of like push you aside and charge through it. It's like, it's like there could be more. He could be sounding the alarm. Well, that is why I'm holding the door. No, get it out of my way. (laughs) Uh, Would you like to go first, or would you like to go first? Yes, let me through. Okay, I just kind of open the door inward. Okay. Yeah, perfect. I'm I'm running through the door. I'm chasing this guy. Then we will stay in our initiative order right now. As you open the door, uh, that orc is at another door, like hand on hand on the handle. As you open that one, it kind of turns. It's like, oh. Uh, my walk speed is 35. Okay. So, yeah, I got plenty of movement to get up to this guy. Perfect. Um, oh, and it was your yeah, turn next. Do... Anyway, that actually works absolutely oh, perfect. Oh, okay. Nice. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do an arm strike on him then. Go for it. This guy, this guy ain't getting away from me. Ha <laughs> ha. 19. That hits, brother, man. Uh, Four. Ten bludgeoning damage. Nice, dude. Is he still up? He's still up, but barely. It almost looks like his spine kind of crumpled a bit. And he's kind of hunched over Um, a bit. I'll I'll just do my bonus action for another arm strike then. Okay. Uh, 20. Oh, baby. Yo. And and (laughs) eight bludgeoning damage. There it is. And as he tries to open this next door. What's the way? Did you want to do lethal or were you wanting to do? Oh, yes. Thank you. You did say let's keep one alive. Yes. So I do want to just like incapacitate him. You got it. Thank you for making that that before I talked about it. Yes, sir. So again, as you, your first hit kind of crumpled his spine, your second hit as you're a well-trained monk knows exactly where to hit and the nerve there. And he kind of like, and just kind of crumples to the ground, but his eyes are still moving and he is breathing. Very well done. Good stuff. I should out. I got him. Here's Ben DeSoblin. So that was Bill. Let me make a note of that. We As Zadok gonna... stands in awe of his adversary, Quoth, Chikarati chopping the hell out of the orc and disabling for the rest of the grid to get a good eye on. I didn't catch the last part of that. Uh, it, but I'm going to move thick, towards the door. It. Two, two uh, scotch for me. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put an ear against the door. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, which door? Give a listen. Uh, the one that he was attempting to go through. Oh, the one he was attempting. Uh, you hear some uh, some rustling. Uh, not to mess with your name at all. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, it's just kind of some quick quick movement going on in there. I am going to hold this door shut. Okay. Um, so we are going to we're out of initiative. So you guys are free to move around until I say we're in it again. Um, but we're going to, I'm not going to make you roll initiative again. Um, I have that bill went next when we get into this next, what if we get into combat again, <laughs> it's going to start with native. All right. You okay. guys are free to move about as you please. Right, I'm going to start looting, uh, first course here. <laughs> okay. Uh, you find, you find like three pieces of silver on him. Um, there is his, uh, it's just a very, it's a very worn kind of rusted great ax. <clears throat> It's seen some heavy okay. use. Is I'll, it, is I'll, I'll it three take pieces silver of silver or 30 pieces of silver? Three. Okay. <laughs> I'll take the silver and leave the axe. Okay. Um, so, sorry, which, which door is Russ? Uh, or, he's uh, holding the door behind the orc that he was trying to Perk open. Cirrus. Okay, I'm going to, is this a, is this here to the north? Is this a window or a That door? is a window. So like a skinny uh, rectangle will be a window and a like a thicker box it. will be a door. Uh, okay, can I look out the window and just like see if there's more orcs coming from outside or anything? Yeah, absolutely can. Again, 
uh, from an earlier search around, all the windows just had a curtain over them. So right, yeah, just pull mm, the curtain aside. The curtain and pull the curtain aside. Make you sure look we're not outside. Get surrounded. Okay, um, I won't make you roll for anything, but you don't see any movement outside. Um, again, if someone did a perimeter search earlier, not seeing anything with a good roll, but okay. um, yeah, nothing seems to be approaching from um, the outside. And then I'm gonna do the same, and I'm gonna go up to this door and like just listen through it and see if I hear anything on the okay. other side. Sorry, I'm chewing. Uh, oh, and money to you don't hope hear you brought enough for is the it, entire is there a money class. Thing? You what? Oh, um, in your character sheet, uh-huh. there should be. Let me see if I can find it here. If you go to your inventory, you see uh-huh. action spells inventory, right? Yeah. Uh, in the top right corner of that screen, there'll be you see it says like thirty two, and there's an icon there. Ah, so if you click that, okay. that'll let you add uh, silver, copper, electrum, gold, platinum, etc. All right. Got it. Okay. Perfect. Cool. Three more silver riches. Let's go, boys. Let's go, baby. Let's get it. Anyway, huh. Bill, you do not hear anything on the other side of that door. All right. I'll leave it at that for now and let other people do some stuff. Okay. Uh, Sweaty, what are you up to in all this, buddy? Well, <clears throat> let's see here. I'm kind of curious about this door. Um, I want to just go right through it. See if I can ping it. Can can you see that? The do- uh, so that's the door that Russ is currently holding closed. Uh, okay. Can I open this door? If you'd like to, yeah. You. I you want to open this door. I just I just want to bust anything. right in. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Go ahead and move yourself Here to that go. door. <laughs> Let's go. Don't go. Th- there you go. Perfect. Um, as you bust through the door, ha ha! Daggers in hand. Right. It is the back patio. And you see the, the well that you There's saw well. walking around earlier. Well, hmm. well, well. I wish to inspect the well. Okay. Go ahead and move to the well and uh, give me... Uh, give me some investigation, baby. Investigation roll. 14 plus 1. 15. All right. Uh, as you look down the well, right, um, it seems very dark at the bottom. Um, from as far down as you can tell, you can't see water or a bottom. Hmm. But it does seem to be pretty deep. Is there a rope that could be used to venture down and venture back? There is a rope um, attached to... So it's kind of, you know, like, like your basic kind of, well, it has the two sticks, the platform kind of coming out the side with an overbeam across a pulley system and a rope going down. Awesome. Well, I'm not going to search it by myself, but uh, I'm definitely going to call for someone to see if they want to come take a look with me by chance. Does anybody want to come down, take a peek down the well, see if we can find any further orcs around? I was going to continue clearing the house. Talk it <laughs> I up. say we clear the house and then we go a look towards the well. Okay. I'm down to go toward the well, but I can't hear you from where I'm at right now. So I, I completely disregard your message. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Back to that porch. Okay. And I would, um, I would open the door here and inspect this Southern room, Southern interior room. Okay, perfect. Um, are you busting open, or are you just kind of... Um, yeah, I mean, I would open it cautiously. Okay. Are you opening it all the way, or partially? I would open it partially and kind of just like see what I can see from the crack in the door. Okay. Uh, from um, the and then crack if it looks, in the door... If it looks clear, then I'll open it. Crack in the door. <laughs> or do you see an orc standing there? Oh, God damn it. Uh, all right, well, I throw the door open because I'm sure he saw that, and then I'm going to go for him, I guess. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to try and get the drop on him before he gets the drop on me. Okay, no, I'll give you a surprise round there. Yeah, and then we'll jump back into initiative. I like that a lot. Uh, cool. All right. all right, as you jump in the room, uh, you see a staircase in the corner that seems to go up. Uh, another door that Was goes this into not the... the door. Was this not the door I was holding shut? That's the door you were holding. Okay. I, I mean, I would have let him. Yeah, you, yeah. you'd mentioned that earlier. That's why I didn't ask again. So, 
Um, and it was it was unlocked. It was unlocked. Correct. Okay. That's why you're able to peek through. Um, in this corner over here, you'll notice a staircase going up. Obviously, you have the door from where you went in. Um, but there are four four orcs in there. Hell yeah. Uh, are you? Uh, we'll give you surprise round. Um, so you can choose to attack, um, call out for help, whatever you want to do here, real quick. Uh, yeah. Since I have surprise round, um, I run in, see this guy. I'm about to attack him. Um, but if there's four more orcs in here, fuck that. So I'm going to use the disengage <laughs> action Perfect. and run back out the door so he can't get an attack of opportunity <laughs> on me and start yelling, more orcs, more orcs. Perfect. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, before all this happens, Native, I will give you the opportunity if you want to move closer, because you'll be the next person going. Um, just you're not having to use all your movement to get over there, if you'd so choose. If you'd rather be there looting, go ahead and say that. Nah, I, I will move closer, so it's 15 to there. Okay. And then 5 to here, so definitely within, within my 35. All right, go ahead and move I'm yourself over. I am going to move right here. Perfect. Um, are we already in, in combat um, sequence? So now now that the surprise round is over, we're going to go back into combat sequence. Um, so it is your turn now, which means your movement, everything has been reset. So you can go ahead and take okay. a turn as normal from where you're standing right now. So I, w I want to take our incapacitated orc okay. and move him. I want to move him back to the main room. Okay, that's here. easy to do. He's, he's, you know, very broken. Okay, so I, I, want, to, I want to grab him. Okay. And uh, move him there. Perfect. And then utilizing what I have on my person, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll take the uh, the sash off my robe and, and just make sure he's tied up and secured to the wall. Oh, okay. Oh, to the wall with a sash. To the wall. Uh, how would you be tying someone to the wall with to a the sash? Window, to the wall. Uh, so there was a really... In <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there's a sconce. Okay. There's okay. a sconce that's yeah, yeah, nailed yeah. to the wall. So I figured <laughs> I'd take the sconce and, and, and tie his hands to the sconce um, and make sure that he's still protected. But I also, I lay out my bedroll for him to put him on there. <laughs> Give him a bit of water. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, he, he's there. Yeah. Creativity. You're our good cop. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Creativity goes a long way with me. So yes, you 100%. There's a sconce there. It happens to be there. Who knew? No. Yeah. All right. Cool. It, Everything it, it, you want to do, you're done. That's it. Man. Thought I saw it. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Beautifully done. Had uh, he seems his eyes as pissed as he is seem like awkwardly thankful. Like he's like, I feel like I shouldn't be happy about this. As he's kind of laid down <laughs> gently, but his hands are kind of up here and his back's broken. He's having some mixed emotions. Lay, lady, lay. <laughs> lay, lady, lay. All right, and that's it for you, baby. Yes, sir. All right, that brings us to Sweaty Spooks. Uh, you would have heard, obviously, your teammate yell, there's orcs in there, and you are currently on oh, the Oh, yeah. So 5, 10, 15. Let's see. Yes. So let's move to here. We're going to keep the door open, but I'm not going to rush inside the room. I'm going to stay near my buddies. Okay. And I'm going to use my bow to shoot in and start causing some damage. Great idea. I like that. Mm, Perfect. Angles. So I'm going to shoot at, let's see if it'll let me. I'm going to shoot at this guy here. Okay. Perfect. So short bow, we're going to go hit DC plus six. Perfect. Now you picked this up fast, baby. You're solid. Hiya. Let's see. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Three plus six for nine. Okay. A nine will sadly miss as your arrow kind of overshoots his shoulder as you kind of popped in real quick to let loose an arrow and you weren't able to take that extra second to really determine I where just, everyone is. I had... I, I felt uncomfortable. I had to fart at the moment. I had to let go of the arrow and it just all fell to shit. Yeah. They say right before you pull the trigger, you should exhale. It's, they didn't mean out the ass. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Anything else and for you, brother? With that, I'm going to um, tuck my shame and just move on. Okay, perfect. <laughs> 
Well, since no one else can see in the room, they can't tell you missed. So, hey, that's good for you. <laughs> you looked heroic. Um, that will bring us to Russ, buddy. Okay. Our tank. Um, yeah. So, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to I'm going to stow my great axe. I'm going to pull out my hand axes. Ooh. Oh, one in each hand? Yep. Okay. Oh, you got it. Uh, is that is that a bonus action? Is that Um actually since you had mentioned before we went in the house that you'd already unlatched them, that's a free action. Sure. Okay. Uh and I think uh, I know I have dual weapon and two weapon master, so. Okay. I should, I should be good there. Um, <clears throat> so I am going to walk in. Fucking doo -doo, doo -doo, and I'm just going to walk just slowly with my two axes. Just kind of swing, loosen in my wrist up mm -hmm. as I come to the first one. Just kind of like, uh, you know, the, the Daredevil hallway scene where he just kind of oh, does yeah. that overhand oh, strike to start yes. out with. And I'm just going to I'm just going to walk up to the first guy and just. Wham! Just go for the overhead strike. Yeah. Oh, this guy right here. Got like it. This. Yes. Uh, okay. So swinging with this. Uh, that's going to be a twenty-one to hit. Twenty-one will, in fact, hit my brother. Sheesh! Hey. <laughs> nice. Uh, that's going to be a ten for damage. Perfect. Okay. Now, because I have mastery also in my hand axes. Okay. Uh, this one is called Vex. Oh, yeah. And what it is going to do for me is... Let you tell it. Let me find it. No, that is another thing I can do, though. Jesus Christ, fucking paladins. Uh, <laughs> if you hit a creature with a hand axe and deal damage to it, you have advantage on your next attack roll against that creature before the end of your turn. Oh, nice. And I assume, because you have an axe in each hand, you're allowed to make your two attacks. Yeah, so Perfect. it's going to be bonus action to go for the offhand attack. Got it, with advantage. Yep. Again, sweaty, in case you didn't catch the first time, that means he can roll twice and take the higher number. Right. You're the man. That You're is picking this up so fast. 20. That's a uh, 20 to hit? That hits, absolutely. Okay. That's four damage. Perfect. As you walk in, strutting your stuff straight into the room as all the orcs turn at you, like, what? And you just walk in and just, whoof, boom, instantly cleave this guy in two, and he is dead. Okay. Yes. Uh, and I'm just going to continue my slow walk. You think, I mean, just to add a little bit of flavor to this, you yeah, think go I could for get, it. like, an intimidation thing going on? I'll give you an intimidation. Yeah, roll for, roll for, give me an intimidation okay. roll here. Let's see, let's all see right, what happens with right. these guys. That's a 22. 22 for intimidation. Yes. For the next turn, uh, their next turn, right? They will have disadvantage against you. Okay, cool. Um, also, because my last... Oh, no. This is a different one. Never mind. Because it's the same creature that I get advantage against. Not a different one. Uh, that's an 18 to hit, though. Mm -hmm. uh, where are you getting another... Oh, is this the cleave thing? No. Uh, because, so, attack, offhand yep. attack. Correct. Oh, and then you have Maybe. your second attack during your action phase. And then Correct. I have my second attack. Correct. Yeah. All right, I'm with you. All right, get it, baby. And that is a 10. 10 is going to miss. No, no, no. It was an 18 to hit. Oh, 18 to hit. 18 hits, 10 damage. Got it. Thank you. Caught yes, up. sir. Gotcha. Boom. And he is immediately... Is, oh, what the... Just totally shocked. Blood kind of oozing down his pretty, pretty tight pectorals. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. Uh, that it for you, baby? I've softened the buff for you, boys. Your turn. All right. That brings us up mm -hmm. to the orcs again. As you're the only one in the room, I'm going to go ahead and yeah. move them all to you. Yep. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, this one up top is going to swing at you. Let me turn him to look at you. Shabing <laughs> with a natural 20, baby. Uh oh, okay. Mm. Things could be about to get bad for me. 
Yes, they could. Yes, they could. That is going to be... Well, that's not Rip. as bad as it could be. 12 damage. Okay. I I've just heard. learned to pronounce his name. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone too soon. After two years of of entering together, you just learned to pronounce my name. <laughs> All right, this one here is going to swing at you. Yep. With a seven, that absolutely misses. He was like in the midst of That's huzzahing enough. his friend for hitting you. Yeah. And then the other one <clears throat> is a 13. <clears throat> 13 does not hit. Ooh, Russ, I apologize to you. I forgot that I'd mentioned that it's going to be a disadvantage against you. Oh, yeah. Even though I just said that. So disadvantage yeah. roll would be a seven. So that would to go ahead and give that health back to you. I apologize. Oh, nice. I had said that and then I didn't do it. I remembered now. All right. For a moment, I saw my future. Oh, yeah, yeah, it yeah. Was yeah. All right. Uh, third one is going to swing at you for a 12. And that's the disadvantage one. So, yep, that no, they, no one hits you then. There we go. Cool. They're just like, ah, angrily swinging their axes like maniacs. <laughs> Bill's dead. He was going to retire next month. Uh, and that brings us to Billy. Um, all right. So real quick, uh, I realized just uh, in between this round of combat, I actually get two attacks per action. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, with my unarmed strike, plus all the stuff I can do with bonus actions. So I get an extra attack that I haven't been using. Perfect, man. So I'm going to run to the room. Um, am I flanking this guy if I uh, go to attack him because yeah. he's focused on Russ? You sure do. All right, so I'm going to do an unarmed strike, unarmed strike with advantage on that guy. Uh, let's see. That's a 19. That will hit. And a 26. That will also uh, hit. Those all right. So first hit then five bludgeoning damage. Okay. Five, you said? Yep. Okay. That was the third one. Okay. Perfect. And then rolling for my second strike, 14 and nine. Is this 14 hit? 14 does hit. All right. Another 11 bludgeoning damage. Oh, as you mm. walk in the room and just pop, 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 pop. And crumple this guy, just shredding his head. Nice. As he tumbles to the ground, just so But fast. wait, there's more. More, you say? I'm going to go over to this guy, and I'm going to use a key point for a flurry of blows. Um, let me just mark off my other key point there. So now I get, I think, two more attacks. Flurry of blows. Yeah, attack action, spend a key point, make two more unarmed strikes as a bonus action. All right, so yeah, two more hits on this guy. Uh, would all, would advantage also count for this? Um, yes, as he was trying to hit Russ, so you technically would still okay. have correct. Uh, dirty twenty that hits. Uh, first hit, eleven bludgeoning damage again. Jesus Christ. Uh, all right, second hit with advantage. 21, 21, 21, another unarmed strike, six bludgeoning damage. All right. Is he still up? He, yeah, these guys. As you walk in, pulling off what Russ was trying to do and immediately <laughs> just crumple two of them to the ground with your bare hands. Just, it's almost like you walked up behind one and just snapped his neck and kept walking. It's that scene in the Matrix, and I'm just seeing the green lines like come down in front of me. Yeah, now that you figured out I, your second I, attack, I, I, I'd unlocked my abilities because I wasn't reading my player sheet before. He's beginning I to actually, believe. Actually, I'm beginning to believe. Hey, um, we and then, did almost the exact same thing. What I tried to do, what I accomplished, just saying. And then with <laughs> the rest of my movement, um, I'll just go up to this guy and get next to him, so he's being harried. But that's my turn. All right, perfect. Uh, native, that brings us back to you, baby, as you're next to your yes, sir. comfortably broken orc. Yes. So I, I'm, I'm tightening the straps on him. I'm making sure that he's fully secured, removing any kind of weapons or anything knife in his, you know, maybe he's got a shiv in his boot or something like that. Just kind of inspecting him, making sure that, uh, there's nothing there for him to do. And I hear the rustle 
Uh, <laughs> Russell. That's going on in a room away from me, and I am going to use my max movement and go here, which was 35 on my count. Okay. And I am going to go ahead and cast Healing Word on, Ooh. Uh, on, on, on my guy right here in the middle. Perfect. So Healing Word. Uh, do I have to roll for that? Uh, that will be... That? Let me look at your spells, because I believe you have the touch one right it's a 2d plus four plus or 2d four plus three. Oh no you have the 60 feet uh, healing word just happens okay. um and you can either have the the druid or the caster roll the healing or have the receiver roll the healing um so what i usually do uh, is if you're casting it you roll right but like if potions happen and you're like you know if you're drinking it you roll for yourself if you're feeding it to someone else roll it etc so, yeah, so okay. you go ahead and roll that for the healing to Russ. All right. Healing to Russ. We got a five. Five healing to Perfect. my guy, Pervious, or Perkius. Or Close enough. <laughs> we're, we're getting there. We're, we're learning. We're learning. <laughs> it starts with a P. To, to, to Tank P. Tank P. Yeah, I like that. Tank P. Good shit, dude. All right, and that's it for you, right? Yes, sir. All right, that brings us back to Sweaty, a room full of dead orcs with one still standing. Like he, like <laughs> a true survivor, feeling like a little kid. All right. <laughs> As I take a look into the room, I can see that there's one left standing, but there's also a body in the way. Oh, it's so dead. I want to go. Oh, do what you want to do. Something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want, I want to go running in there. And I want to use this dead body oh. to jump off of with both of my daggers out yes. to make a critical hit if I possibly can and take this guy out once and for all very violently. Very violently. <laughs> all right. I want you to give me an athletics roll for jumping off this guy as he is not a sturdy surface. Okay. So athletics is plus two rolling. Eleven plus two, so thirteen. Okay, yeah, it's not the prettiest thing that's ever happened, but you are able to kind of, you know, it's Just it's it's kind of in between, boom. like uh, like uh, Deadpool and Wolverine when they jump out the back of the bus. You know, Deadpool just kind of face plants, and Wolverine's kind of hanging in the air, CGI all badass. Wolverine. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you make it happen, and you make it over there. Go ahead and give me an attack, baby. All righty. So I'm all about style. First dagger here. hit DC. That will be six plus six for twelve. That is going to barely miss. Oh, dang! You do so have that, that secondary missed. dagger attack if you'd like, though. Yep, we're gonna do that. So perfect rolling. I think it's 12 plus 6. Oh, yep, yeah. 18. That hits, baby. And we're going to go with damage, rolling. I'm so excited. Ba -ba Two plus three is five. Five damage as you five damage. sprint into the room, jump off a dead orc, and st just stick your knife into its neck. You're midair holding on to him as he collapses to the floor with you holding on to his body with the dagger in his neck. He is dead yes God damn, but stylish got, my kd sucks right now but you're healing and <laughs> being gentle and tying people up that's what i do and yeah. you're richer than everyone speaking else. of which one of my four oh fair uh <clears throat> before we do anything else uh anybody else hurting i am hurting yes i'm good. I am 10 hp down Okay, I am going to slap you on the back and go, good effort, and heal you for five hit points. Five hit points. Nice. And hey, then I'm going to slap nice. myself, give myself ten. Perfect. Nice. Do you slap yourself on the chest and say good effort, too? Yeah. Nice. Good effort. All right, you're in another room full of dead orcs. Um, 
you know for sure that this doorway over here leads to the room you were in initially, and there is a closed door here. You don't know where that goes, and a staircase in the corner going up. I'm just going to walk over to this door. I'm kind of tired of this, and I'm just going to straight kick it. Just bam! All right. Uh, you kick the door, and it flies open, and there uh, appears to be a hole in the floor with a ladder going down. So you now you have a oh, staircase boy. going up and a ladder going down. Dragon's den. Let's let Sweaty get back here real quick before we decide which way we're going. Yeah, obviously you kick the door. There's a dragon there. <laughs> yeah, 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 no yeah. big deal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a very small dragon. He, yeah, he fit in a closet. It's Ant Man powers, and then so the dragon the staircase come out of the closet. Go jump it. Is the staircase going up then? Yeah, the staircase is going up. Yeah. The ladder in this closet is going down. Okay, got it. You see, with a, with a, the small tick marks going to the big, that means upward, right? I want to go down. Yes. I want to go down. I want to yeah. see what's upstairs first here. Who Make sure the house is empty. We don't want anyone. We don't want anyone following behind us, do we? I understand that, and I will. I will pull rear. Uh, however, I'm gonna. I'm going to go ahead and untie our prisoner and drag him into the main room here that we're in. Okay, I'll go ahead and pull him over for you. <laughs> He's just kidding. He's just, He's like, oh, let me die. But uh, I'm also going to feed him a piece of ration to keep good faith. He can't can't really move his jaw. It kind of like falls it's outside of his map. I, 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 I yeah, help. I did kind of like shatter his face. <laughs> Yeah, I think you're gonna have to baby bird it uh, if you want to feed got him. Speak with dead, we may need it eventually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he he's able to kind of gull it down a little bit, and he's still it's just awkwardly like, I really don't know how I'm supposed to feel right now. You're being insanely nice, but your friends broke me, and you're here. I just I'm very confused. It's a perfect good cop, bad cop. <laughs> yeah, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> Better not leave him anywhere alone with me because I'll kill him. All right, which way are we going? Up or and down? I, I look to, I, I, I to Zarak and give him the eye, the side eye. <laughs> not today. Relax. All right, Continue I vote down. Investigation. <clears throat> I just, I just want to make sure Wait, the house down? is clear behind us. Down or up? Which way would we go? Most people seem to want to go up. I'm the only person wanting to go down, so let's all go up. I think I think down is probably prisoner, if anything. My accent has changed again. Yeah, that's all I right. I love it. This one. <laughs> uh, let's clear upstairs first, and then we can all go downstairs. Duh. All right. Uh, who is going upstairs first? Uh, Russ, upstairs this works first. out really well. If... Big if we go into combat again, uh, it will be your turn initially. Uh, I will go first. Okay. All right. The um, Russian's on his way upstairs. There we go. Um, I'm going to move you somewhere. I'm going to let you know where to go, okay? Okay. Uh, so we'll be moving northward up here towards this ping. Yeah. As you enter the second floor into this room, there's four arcs in it. Oh, boy. Let me, I, let me get the camera crew. I'm not surprised, <laughs> but I'm good. I'm starting to see a trend in this house. <laughs> we we lovingly call this encounter the Kill House. The Kill House. And <laughs> it is so awesome, and I've always wanted to play it. Do they get any... Uh, are they... I mean, personally, I'm not surprised there are orcs here, but is my character surprised? Uh, no, no. I feel like going room okay. to room with orcs, you'd be, uh, you know, battle hardened as you are. Maybe if you're right. level two or three okay. or something, but no, you would, you'd be walking up there expecting something. Okay. Yes. That, that would be what I would assume too. Okay. <clears throat> uh, it's my turn, right? Yes, sir. All right. Kill, kill. <laughs> and I'm, I'm getting tired of this. I'm getting tired of these stupid mother trucking orcs on this stupid mother trucking plane. Um, so I am going to. Hmm, what do I want to do here? 
let me just I mean, let me check a thing real quick. Oh, there's shove. I was looking for this. Strength or dex. Saving throw is DC eight plus proficiency bonus five feet. Or cause it to have the prone condition. That's shove. Is five feet? Uh, yeah, five okay, feet. Okay, got it. Um, let me see. No, I was trying to see. Uh, I'll check it later. Okay, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and swing at this first one. That's a 14 to hit. Uh, which one are you swinging at? This one right here? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, just the one right in front of me. Got you. That's a what to hit? Sorry. 14. That will hit. Okay. Uh, that's a five for damage. Perfect. Bonus action. Divine smite. Perfect. For 2d8. That's seven radiant damage. Perfect. As he looks completely shocked, you walked up, coming up the stairs and just slamming him immediately. Ah! ah! And he, uh, uh, he's looking rough. Okay, my next attack has advantage okay. because of Vex for hand axe. Perfect. Is that 13 to hit? That meets it, beats it, baby doll. Yeah, beautiful. And there's no way you can roll low enough to not kill him. So, okay. So he is just, you come up smiting and slicing and slicing, and he's just like, and bam, down he goes. Cool. Uh, that's it for me. Okay. Uh, any more movement, or are you standing in the stairwell? Yeah, I'm going to move, and I'm going to move right, okay, stairwell comes up here, or it comes right here? Is this the top of the That's stairwell? That's the top of the stairs, correct, yep. Okay, I am going to move right here. Okay, perfect. Uh, uh No. Uh, sorry, I'm going to move right there. I, I was trying to figure out, I want to make sure that if they try to move past me to the stairwell, I'm actually going to move right there. Okay. Because that way, if they want to try to move past me fr to the stairwell, they have to go through. I get a attack of opportunity. That's smart. That's smart. I like it. All right. Is that it for you? That's it for me. All right. As you plowed up the stairs, slaughtering one, it is the orcs' turn while you are all alone in this room with them. Yes. Uh, this one right next to you, who's already there, is going to go ahead and swing at you. Okay. I know you're shocked by this turn of events. Uh, that's a 10. So that misses. This other one's going to rush up. <laughs> he is going to swing at you with a natural one. Let me oh. roll, roll the thingy, my bobber. Uh, no one is, no friendlies are next to him, so he can't damage them, so I'll just have him drop his weapon. Okay. Where was the, there you go, that, boom. So his weapon is on the ground, and he's going, what the fuck? Uh, and this one, javelin, or no, he's going to go ahead and run up. Bam! And he is going to swing at you. Hopefully he does better than the other two. Uh, 14, I believe that misses, correct? Uh, 14. Does miss. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. Uh, that's it for the orcs. No one touched you. Hell yeah. Uh, Billy, your turn. Your buddy ran up the stairs. Uh, you heard some some swinging Yeah, I would, I would and... hear the familiar commotion of orcs attacking and failing to hit. Yep. Uh, As it clangs off my armor. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I would uh, charge up the stairs after him and All right. Go ahead and move yourself start up there. doing my thing. All right. Yeah. So yeah, I see... Uh, a familiar sight. Perxirus uh, in a bad spot. So uh, um, I'm actually going to attack the one to my left here first. Okay, got the you. one that's behind him. Uh, so yeah, two unarmed strikes to get started. Do I also have flanking on this since they were wailing on him? Uh, yes. Okay. 
So first roll is a 12, second roll is a 12. All right, so first hit is six bludgeoning damage. Oh, I see, I see. So I heard you say 12, and I saw the 19. We're caught up. Um, all right, six damage on him, first of all. Perfect. Okay. Second hit. Nat 20! Holy shit! Uh, 10 bludgeoning damage. Yes, sir. As you walk up the stairs and immediately, again, just... Like right in the jugular. The first hits in the side of the head. Second one's in the jugular. Snapping his larynx. I have discovered their weak spot. <laughs> and now he's down. Um, all right. Uh, I don't want to really don't want to use another key point right now. So I'm just going to use my bonus action for uh, one more unarmed strike. Okay. Against uh, this guy right here. Uh just uh, rolling up and snapping necks. Hey, that uh, one was mine. Is this the? Do I get flanking for this one as well? I forget which who was attacking. Uh, Prick no, that one up. you won't. But fifteen. Okay, still so that's hits. a fifteen. Okay, six bludgeoning damage. Perfect. Again, right side of the head is kind of, uh, a little discombobulated. And that's my turn. Okay, perfect. Uh, that brings us to Native. Okay, so I am going to... I'm down here on, on the first floor still. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab the the bulk of the hair of my prisoner. Oh. And kind of just turn his head slightly toward his down combatant, right? Toward his down comrade. That is, that is right there. And ask him... Is this what you want to be? Are you ready for oh, death? Are you ready for death? Oh, damn. And then I'm going to tell him. Death? I am going to tell him. Alphonse Calazor. Who is he? What do you know about him? He just kind of gurgles because he's completely broken. <laughs> Eyes wide open. Is there is there something when I say the name that pops his eyes open, kind of like he, he uh, can understand in some sense of the meaning. Uh, or no. Give me an insight check. Uh, insight check. Do that. Mm. Insight. This looks like you got a plus three <clears throat> for that. Uh, 13 plus three, 16. Okay. Uh, yeah. You, you notice kind of like the left eyebrow kind of twitch up. Okay. And I slam his head back down onto the floor. Um, How hard are you slamming I, his head on the floor? It's against my bedroll. It's more of an oh, intimidation okay. type thing. I got you. Yeah, because I, 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 I provided my, my bedroll. Uh, so I kind of just slam him back down. More of an intimidation, not to <laughs> hurt, but to, to understand that, you know what? Like, I've given you all this. I've fed you. I've... Obviously tied you up, but uh, he's even wined you know, and dined him. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, and uh, yeah. So that's what I do with this guy. Um, and I, out of irritation, I move toward the closet, if you will. Okay. Uh, I move to the closet. I get kind of interested because I had heard Zarak talk about a hole. And so I produce flame in, in my turn. Okay, perfect. Uh, that hey, uh, you were in the military, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. What did you do in the military? <laughs> 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 Nothing. <laughs> uh, Stop. That's, that's classified uh, information. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Holy shit. That was funny, Russ. Uh, sweaty, that brings us back to you. So is Native still in the same room, or did yeah. he go upstairs? He's standing in no, front of that no. closet with flame in his hand. Yeah. I am still oh, okay. bottom floor. Were you, were you inspecting the closet or anything? I produce flame opening the closet, but that I, I feel like that's definitely enough action. So there's nothing there, nothing to be concerned about. Well, but I mean, you that guys already know, know there's a hole in the closet with a ladder going yeah. down. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go upstairs and join my friends. Okay. Go ahead and move yourself up uh, there, brother, man. 
think, oh, I guess that'd be here. Yes, sir. And then I'm going to go. And you can maneuver through. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to go right there. If it'll let me. It Where am I? You. Oh, whoops. There. Perfect. And I'm going to attack this guy. All right. Bloodthirsty. Bring it on. Um, I got my dagger ready. I'm going to hit DC plus six. Six plus six is 12. Good shit. That is barely too low to hit, though. Uh, yes. Yeah. So it's a good thing we have one more. I'm going to roll. Okay. <laughs> and I, sweaty, I thought you guys were going to split, split the party for a second there. That was exciting. <laughs> 12 plus 6 for 18. That does, in fact, Ooh. hit my man. Okay, so damage. Hmm. Two plus three for five. Perfect. Good stuff, man. Boom. As you suddenly appear, people are just appearing everywhere on the second floor with this guy. And he's like, what the? Boom. Knife in the neck. He's still standing there. Yes. All right, is that Can it for I you, brother? I just say how much I love that we have a group of us exterminating orcs and native is down here doing the interrogation at the same time. <laughs> yes. It is very cinematic and I <laughs> love it. I am here for this. Oh, it just just, just you hear his friends dying and natives down there slamming his head into the wall and being like, <laughs> no, where are you? <laughs> Swear to me. Swear, Swear to me. me. Uh, Russ, that brings us back to you, buddy. Uh, you have an orc on either side of you. He's going to kill them all. Or himself. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're good. Okay. Um, where am I? All right, yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna take my swing at the guy to the Joker to the left of me. It's a 22 to hit. That definitely hits. That is uh, five damage. Okay, and that was this guy here, correct? Uh, yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. And uh, he is still up. And I'm going to go ahead and pump a Divine Smite into him. Damn. Oh, that's three. Three? That was exactly what you needed. Is it really? Yeah, dude. You hit him with the axe. He kind of, he got, ah, oh, and then poof, Divine Smite just goes, because th it just goes through the axe, right? Yeah. Yeah. And kind of explodes inside him <laughs> as he crumples to the floor. Perfect. Um, and then this is uh, Sweaty. This is Zarok. Uh, that's Billy. Okay. Um, <clears throat> question. Yes. I can move through uh, allies freely. Typically, as long as I don't end my space with them. Correct. Can I move an enemy through a space where my ally is? For torturing. I got. I see what you So you wanted to throw him. This wouldn't be a push, per se, but you wanted to throw him out of that corner. I want to throw him down the stairs. Oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. You can try. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, would this be an athletics? I will give you athletics for this one, my bedog. <laughs> hey, Fod, real quick. Is <laughs> yep. it my turn next? You are... No, it'll be the orcs next. Oh, damn. I was going to say, if it's my turn next, I want to help him with this. But... <laughs> All right, he will go against Continue. you. <laughs> That's an 18. 18 against his 15. Yes, sir. You may throw him All down right. the stairs. Yeah. All right, you'll hurl him. Uh, you didn't beat him by too much. He's not going to plummet insanely fast, but he is going <laughs> to and roll yeah. down the stairs. A uh, native, an orc, just suddenly proned out, just, <laughs> just hits his head on the ground, 
just shock on his face. Uh, he is going to take two damage from that. And the kind of the wind gets knocked at him. <coughs> and he's just lying there next to you. Mm. The orc goes next, right? Yes, he does. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and move back down the stairs. Can I step over him if he's prone? Absolutely, you can. Uh, so I'm going to put myself between him and uh, Ryuke. Ryuke! Okay. I see what you're saying. Got you. Okay. All right, that ends your turn. Uh, so I'm going to try something real quick. <clears throat> oh, more flavor. So as the orc is laying there prone... He's already seen the dead bodies upstairs. Correct. I'm going to show him all the dead bodies down here. Ah, ha, ha, ha. And I'm going to go, whoever speaks first gets to live. Uh, No, nose goes. He touches (laughs) his nose. Where is Olaf? Ophans, Calafon. Olaf? Ophans. I said Olfans. You never heard of Olaf. Olfans. Olf. Olfan. Olfan. Olfans. The man's on this farm. Uh, I yell Kelzor. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah what, what about him? <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> uh, and he kind of looks, looks around. Luckily, it's a room full of dead orcs. This really helps you here. Uh, <laughs> he looks around here. Basement. Kind of hangs his head. Um, cool. I th- I think that ends my turn. Okay. But I'm gonna give a nod to Ryuke. Am I saying that right? Ryuke, Ryuki. Yeah, Ru- Ryuki. Ryuki. Uh, I give a nod to Ryuki. This one spoke first. And I I, I nod back. And wink. And look back toward my prisoner that has not said shit that I've given food and water to. Uh, he's broken. He and literally can't talk. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I just look back to him with, okay. a, with a little bit of a smile. <laughs> yes. All right. That brings us up to the orc where this one is because of everything going on. He's going to like nose goes right. Give you the information. He's going to set his axe down. And just kind of stand there like, we good? <laughs> and we can come out of combat if we're good. I have no problem with letting him go, one orc. Not all orcs bad, just most. If he has no weapons, yeah, give him a knife. See if he survive. I what agree. is it a trap? Is there more that he's not saying? Is there more to it that we don't not yet know about? I suspect treachery. Any more orcs upstairs? If uh, I'm not mistaken, I think there could be one more door. Upstairs, no. If that's the door. Me last. No? Okay. Hey, uh, <laughs> so we hear rumors about dragon. What bring you from mountain? Uh, from mountain, uh, me... Me really not know. I was uh, sleeping, and then everyone was running and jumping and screaming, and I grabbed axe and and just followed everyone. I don't know. I don't know. I thought we were a raiding party. I didn't know something had happened. Mm-hmm. I walk over to my my guy right here that I've been helping, mm-hmm. trying to get information out of. Slowly, a slow walk. I look at him. Deep in the eyes, as he's looking up at me, still gurgling, gurgling, kind of drooling, yeah, yeah, drooling, and I, I raise my right leg and I stomp his head and kill him dead. Fuck. End his yes. life. Yes. And I turn back around, and I look at the one at the bottom of the stairs, and with the knife in hand that he has, tell what. Tell the orcs what you've seen here. <laughs> and I continue to walk up the stairs. Me free go. 
Yeah, that he's guy's kind of good. a badass. I'd get out of here. <laughs> okay, he like tucks the knife in his belt and literally fucking dives out the window. <laughs> and just <laughs> takes off hey. fucking running. If you're hungry, there is a cow leg on top of hill. <laughs> <laughs> the haunch comes back into play. I was wondering That's, when they came oh, back into play. Call back. That haunch, bro. All right, uh, Native, did you say you're going upstairs? <laughs> yes, Sorry, I, I was I, muted. I, I start so while to those guys, upstairs. Well, yeah, while those guys were down there doing their thing with the orc, um, I would have been up here like, like what? what is this room I'm in, and is yes, there any other sir. doorways or anything anywhere uh, else? This room you are in um, seems to be kind of like a common room hangout area. There's padded chairs, game tables kind of spread around. It seems like a place for people relaxed after a long day's work. Um, you see like a wooden dragon chess, you know, set in the corner, um, some playing cards laying around. Um, and then behind you here, sorry, there's more to it. Uh, this is, you'd be able to see down it, is a hallway going down. A hallway? Oh, geez. How big is this place? Oh, lots of doors down there. Um, is there anything, uh, in this immediate room, are there any, like, chests, like, like, storage containers or anything to, like, look um, through, or is it just Nothing kind closed. Of, like... There kind of seems to be, like, you know, some bookshelves with, with some things hanging out in it. Um, mm -hmm. kind of like a, like a, um, game board kind of, you know, what a, what are, what corners. are some of the, the games laid out? Do I recognize any of them? Um, yeah, I mean, Walker, obviously you have that wooden, uh, dragon chess set. There's some, uh, where is it? Uh, three dragon ante is a game you'd recognize okay. there's, there's a bunch of playing cards for That's that. A good one. That's um, a good one. just regular, you know, like a deck of regular playing cards. Um, some like mugs with some dice sitting next to it. Interesting. Interesting. Um, okay. Uh, do I guess I'll go to this first sort of set of doors in the hallway and okay. does it, do I hear anything kind of like before? Like, does there seem to be any nope, movement? It or? seems, it seems very quiet. Hmm. Well, this has happened to us twice before and the rooms have been filled with orcs. So these are some very quiet orcs. It seems. Um, Ooh, if I, if I like, kneel down is there like a is there like a gap at the bottom of the door or is oh, there yeah. like a keyhole i can peer through oh yeah there's definitely a gap on, the on either of, the of them mm -hmm. um okay i'm i'm gonna lay down and look under the doors into both these rooms do i see like orc feet you do not see orc feet in either of these rooms <laughs> i no. do not see orc feet okay um all right i guess i'll uh Open up this south door first. Okay. Uh, is anyone with him during all this? No. Okay. I'm not. I've, I've been sure on the first engaged. floor the whole time. All right, cool. I'm downstairs. Um, Let me get this room real uh, quick, and then we'll jump back around I'm to you I'm wondering guys. if those are stairs right there. He the said the no. So I'm actually going to trust him. All I right. don't know if that's a good idea. So I'm going to... He said Ophons was in the basement. Now, he said there weren't any more orcs upstairs. I didn't ask him if there were any more orcs downstairs. That is true. You did not. Mm -hmm. uh, Shy in chat real quick. What does D&D &D mean? Dungeons and dragons. And dragons. So. I am going to guard this door. Okay. I'm just, I'm going to keep an eye out. I know they're still searching upstairs. Uh, Ryuki is, are you still on the stairs? You haven't gone all the way up? I haven't gone all the way up, no. I, I'm like going toward the second uh, level. Uh, so I'm just going to mm, tell them when they are done up there that uh, we should probably investigate the basement. Maybe more orcs, but definitely old ones is probably downstairs. I agree, brother. Let me let me check what's going on up here. Okay, uh, real quick with Billy. Um, in that room you open, uh, it seems to be like a room for maybe some of the ranch hands. 
Uh, there's two beds and two foot lockers in there, a big rug, some pictures on the wall, uh, you know, a scantily clad maiden, you know, it says August on top of, of it. Yeah. <laughs> Pin up calendar. Yeah. Makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, does any of it look disturbed? Like, uh, no, it's not like really it, down. Maybe it's been sickness. like ransacked or anything. Oh, uh, ransacked. Uh, the, the beds seem like the orcs attempted to, you know, kind of lay on them. And, you know, the mattresses seem pretty, pretty dented in. Um, the foot lockers are open, but they don't seem disturbed. Okay. Is there anything in the foot lockers that I can see? Like just by like, yeah, in, in them, uh, in each foot locker is just going to be like a bunch of neatly folded clothing and some like, you know, a couple like uh, a worthless personal effects kind of thing, you know, like sure. some socks and a, you know, maybe an earring yeah. that is worthless and. Right. Some forever 21 jewelry. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, can of Axe body spray. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's super valuable, man. What are you talking about? Um, all right, I'll I'll do the same on the the upper door then. Uh, which door? Oh, this one right here. Yeah, on the all right the north side of the hallway. I didn't put furniture and stuff. Sorry for your guys' immersion. Yeah, oh, God. it's ruined. My immersion. My immersion has been I'm broken. the worst. Um, in here, I'm it seems so to immersed. Be... <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, a Bro, very large bedroom, this. right? There's a beautifully done, uh, heavily carved out, adorned bed, um, a big cedar wardrobe in the corner, framed paintings mm. of landscapes of the surrounding area. It looks like it might have been painted on the hill you guys were overlooking uh, of the farm. Mm. So I maybe I could assume this is Calzor's bedroom or the the head. I'll just, yeah, you can, you the can probably safely bedroom. assume that, yeah. Um, okay, can I look around? If if I think it's Kalzor's bedroom, I want to look and see, is there like a like a journal or a diary or like business ledgers or anything that might like, I could I could pick up and see, maybe try and find out what happened and where, where people have gone? Yeah, sure, man. Uh, give me some investigation. All right. 13. Uh, 13 looking around. Yeah. You find like, you know, uh, you know, a pretty thick journal, um, pretty nicely bound, um, and some kind of scattered papers that look like just kind of receipts for like cattle sold and bought. Okay. But nothing like within the last few days or from within the, the period that they, they lost contact with, with Calzor. Um, the dates on the buy and sell receipts are from quite a while ago. Um, and then there's just that journal. Okay. And there's, if I open the journal, is there anything <clears throat> like recent of like recent events? Uh, if you open the journal, the last entry is going to be from a week ago. Um, and it's just talking about, you know, like the hardships of the day, um, seeing some smoke in the distance. And kind of wondering if, you know, maybe some wildfires coming by and it's kind of some things they should do around the farm to prepare for that. Um, and then nothing after that. Interesting. Uh -oh, we lost Sweaty's camera. Uh oh. Which means Billy um, okay, is a DM we can, now. Uh, Congratulations. Um, I guess I, I would just like, we don't have to RP it, but we, I was just, I would go through the rest of the rooms and okay. just see if there's yeah. anything significant. Um, there was that, uh, just cause you said you're searching through all the rooms. There was a wardrobe in there. I didn't want to re-mention it, but you did say you're going to search each room. So, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I would, I guess if there was something obvious, like a wardrobe, I'd just look in and see if okay. there's like, um, are you looking pretty heavily in anything or just kind of giving, a um, glance over? I would just kind of be giving a glance through stuff and okay. Just yeah. Like, if you just, if, if there's anything immediately over. that jumps out. Okay. Um, an I mean, orc jumps out. No, um, <laughs> I, just like in my mind, and like in what my, I guess what my character would be assuming is like this seems like a pretty cut and dry. Like yeah. the farmstead was attacked by orcs. There's probably nothing, nothing super shady or otherwise going on here. But you know, just want to browse through and double check that nothing stands out. Okay, yeah. Um, so just looking through it. Yeah. Obviously some winter clothes, summer clothes, a lot of different clothes, some things that seem pretty nice, you know, um, going through each room here. Let's go fly through this. 
as best we can here. Let me find the seven seven. And we could say we could say the rest yep. of you guys come up and do this too if you want. Uh, yeah. Another bedroom. Or not, I came to the top of character. stairs, and I'm I, I'm continuing to follow you. Okay. And I'm looking more for identification. So we're looking for paintings, pictures of. Uh, uh, hold on, I got notes. Uh, Zalzor, Kalzor, Kalzor. Do we see? Was it Kalzor? Kind of I thought we were Kalzor. looking for Ophon's Californ. I, I wrote Alfonso Kalzor. Yeah, I got Alfonso Kalzor. Yes, Kalzorn. Calzone, yeah, um, Calzorn. So Calizorn. Okay, so I, I'm looking for pictures of him so we can get an actual identification of what this man looks like. Oh, nice. Or yeah. creature or something like that. Um, so I'm looking around the rooms, especially in this main bedroom. Yeah. Do we so see any kind of portraits or something like that? These other two rooms are, again, just like that other, like the farmhand bedrooms. Nothing really exciting going on in there. Um, in the main bedroom, there does appear to be a portrait of him, right? Uh, seems to be a very, not as large as our half giant, right? But a pretty burly very very uh built man um looking a little older in the face but stoic someone who's seen a lot of combat um he has a mohawk a white mohawk right a pretty burly beard and uh and a uh, great axe or not great axe a great hammer over his shoulder and how old does this uh painting or picture appear to be um it's dated within the last like year or so okay so recent yeah. Awesome. Um, if we go all the way down here, uh, you'd re definitely recognize it as an office. Where probably a lot of like the actual, you know, business stuff happens. Sweater, are you still here, okay. buddy? Yeah, I am. Yep. Okay. We just lost your camera. I just want to make sure <clears throat> you were aware. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, sorry, stream. We're all in different places. Deal with it. Um, <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, anyone searching through the office? Uh, I mean, I guess I would. It's kind of oh. looking for the same thing, like okay. just evidence of maybe what has transpired here the last like week or so, if it seems that's when the last journal entry stopped. Okay. Yeah, uh, looking through the office, you definitely see that uh, this seems to be Pretty easily, you can tell this was probably where he was at when orcs came in. Um, there is a dead orc in the corner. Um, some nice. blood kind of smeared. Papers all over the place. Um, and if you're kind of really not thoroughly digging, but kind of digging over around the desk, you'd find, again, like transactions in the last like 10 years. But you'd find a little sack under the desk Ooh. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. with 65 gold pieces in it. Hell yeah. Um, I guess I don't, I don't, I, I don't want to like steal from this guy. <laughs> <laughs> like clearly this is his business. Uh, like, you know, I, I would just leave it there personally. Right. My, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pocket this guy's money. And I run to you and I say, take it before the orcs do we can give it to him when we find him we've already killed the orcs it's just us now but who's <laughs> to know what ransacks this place once we leave uh can i ask you to roll a persuasion check against my character <laughs> absolutely you can do that all right uh, persuasion, persuasion. uh can we do a contested persuasion roll how does this work yeah, no, no. How do I do? Uh, is you it would do uh... persuasion against your Ooh. insight, maybe? I would like say. Like, I roll insight? Yeah, you roll or... insight, he rolls persuasion. Okay. Right. Rolling er, I roll persuasion or perception? Uh, persuasion. <laughs> persuasion. No, that's the shit. I got a four. <laughs> he got a six. two garbage rolls. Damn. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I would say, uh, well, we can we can always come back for it if uh, turns out Kalzor has met an untimely end. 
and like I'm I'm just gonna walk away. Like I'm just gonna leave it there. If he wants to do anything with it after I walk away, that's his business. All right, cool. As you walk away, you'd be like, can we at least hide it under something, something more hidden? Uh, yes, yes. If if you wish, Let's put it under the mattress. <laughs> Cliche, <laughs> okay. however, yes, you know, perfect. All right. Uh, is there a mattress in this room, or would I guess we'd just, I'd just be put it, do I mean, it down the hall or something? Yeah, down the hall, sure. in the his bedroom room. if you want or something. Yeah, sure. Um, okay, but th- nothing like in the documents or anything. No, that would nothing that really shows what happened. It's it All seems right. like it kind of happened quick. They were expecting a fire, and then <laughs> orcs showed sure. up, and they they weren't going to stop to write down stuff. So, sure. All right. Um, yeah, I, I guess for me, if there's nothing like obvious about oh, yeah. something that occurred or what what has recently occurred, then I'm not really interested in going through people's personal effects. All right, uh, where are we going now? I headed back downstairs. I'm okay. on the main level. Basement time yeah, for sweaty. I, you you just see me sitting in front of the door, cross legged, and I've got a dragon anti set, and I'm playing solitaire. <laughs> Sorry, Sweaty, I know you're dying. We're almost there, buddy. <laughs> All right, we're going downstairs? Yep. Yep. All right, I will move you guys downstairs. Someone's knocking on my door. Mm. Give me one second. I still have produce flame in okay. my hand. Perfect. To ensure. He's been that, holding it this whole the, time. Enlighten the path. Yeah, you know, that, was, that was actually the concept. All right, so you'll be south now. On the map. Uh, oh, okay. okay. All right, someone knocked on the door. Give me uh, one second. How do I move the map down? Um, like press your and mouse wheel and drag. Also works. I'm still standing like I ever did. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. You are not here? forgetting. Okay, perfect. Yep. All right. In the corner over here, right, you do see what matches the painting upstairs, a very burly man tied up, laying down, laying down. He's prone down on the side. Eyes are open. Beautiful, luscious mohawk, right? Seems a, a little, uh, mm. you know, longer and kind of fading over the side. Almost a where are you kind of thing going on. <laughs> um, Color? He doesn't, he doesn't have so a hammer in his hand. Just so you know. But yeah. So that seems to be him in the corner laying down. And in the other half of the room, defending him. It's filled with orcs. Be more fucking orcs. Is an ogre. Oh, fuck. Oh. I am glad that I saved most of my spells. <laughs> it's a <laughs> grunts at you. Um, who went last? Killing the last guy in the last room. I did not mark that down, actually. Say it was me next? Could no, it was, the, it was the orc next because he put his weapon down. Mm. It was the orc. The orc put his weapon down, which means it would be... Starting from the top of all of you, Billy, you'd be first now as you enter the basement together, find the man type in the corner and an ogre. Um, is the ogre like immediately hostile to us? Like, does he look like he's about to attack? He's actually baking some scones. Yeah, uh, no, he it kind of <laughs> seems like he's taking his time to kind of like notice you were there. Like he heard some commotion, but it's orc shit, you know, not little orc shit, but he's like used to it. And then it's like. What like it seems to be taking him a long time to register. You're not orc standing in front of him. Um. Okay. Well, since he doesn't like immediately attack, I'm just gonna like hold my hands out and be like, "Whoa, hey, we're just here to grab our friend." Hey there, big guy. Sun's getting real low. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he turns into a nerdy little scientist. Yeah. Um. So yeah, could I be like? 
see if I can like get the ogre to not be aggressive to us if he's kind of like thinking it over. You could like, certainly give it a whirl. Would that be performance, persuasion? I would go with deception. I'd go with well, you're not I mean you are there for your friend, so it's not really deceptive. Um let's go with performance. Uh okay. Uh so yeah, I'm just gonna like try and be chill. Just like, whoa, hey buddy, uh we're just we're just grabbing our friend and gonna go. Nothing no no problems here. And performance. I have a minus one. I think this has got to be a six. Big, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you kind of and he that that is actually the moment that kind of clicks it for him. He goes, Wait. no go." And now he he seems hostile. Okay, uh, are you gonna? Would you count that as my action? I would count that as one of them because you get two, right? I get two attacks per, per action. action. Okay, I would count that. Honestly, is probably yeah. I'd count that as an action then. Okay. Um, I would have like started kind of walking towards the guy at least. Okay. So I'll at least move myself there with some movement. Um, but I don't think I can do. Yeah, I can't do a bonus action on arm strike unless I also do an attack for my action. So I think that's like pretty much it for me this turn. Okay. Uh, Native, you're up on deck, baby. Yep. So I see he's hostile and he's growling because we interrupted his beautiful cooking segment. So I'm going to cast a moonbeam on him. Oh, hey. yes, that's sir. a good one. Um, so I'll roll... Uh, where are you? Moon River. Where is the where's the regular roll? Moonbeam. Initiative. Is that Which initiative? Are... The no. No, I'm trying to find Moonbeam for you in your list. There it is. Uh, it's a I Constitution. Beam, but... um, so you put it on it. He has to make a Con save to beat 14 in order to. Is it half or full damage? So uh, so I don't have to roll for uh, like hit right? No, on this? no. You basically uh, okay. You put it where you want it. Right. And then it's up to the enemies within it to pass um, basically a threshold in order to take damage or not. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm putting it right on the top of his dome piece Perfect. right there. Uh, successful save a creature takes half. OK, so it's half damage if he succeeds, full damage if he fails. Got it. All right. And this is a I'm glad I had your sheet pulled up. Uh, what did I say? Constitution 14. Uh, Here we go. 3D 10. Constitution is surprisingly good. And he does pass, so he's going to take half the damage. So go ahead and roll the damage for that, which will be, yep, that 2d10, and then he'll take half. Six, bro? One, two, three? Damn! Damn. Okay. So he only takes three. Okay. Right? Is it? Yep, he only takes three. Perfect. Sorry, team. Well, that's the thing is it sits there and I think every turn until he leaves it, it does that damage to him. I'm pretty positive. That's how it works. Uh, right. Yeah, I think it's concentration. I think it stays up. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. That's yeah, it correct. stays up. And if he moves, then it's another thing. Perfect. Right on. Another roll. So he'll just take that every turn. He stays there. Um, anything else for you, baby? Nope. All right. Sweaty, we're over to you, dog. That'll work. I'm going in with... The double daggers. Let's go, baby. Get it. His armor class. First roll. 13 plus 6. That absolutely hits him. 19. 100%. Okay. So damage, piercing. Oh, dear. Okay, one plus three is four. Perfect. Okay, for your first strike on him, you kind of like stab him in the thigh. <laughs> and for the second. <laughs> right to the growing, bro. Right underneath. Bam. Ooh. That's what I would do. That's a four plus six is ten. That is not going to hit barely. No. Nope. 
What did you do in the military, Native? Huh? That's classified. Uh, <laughs> well, I guess that's it. All right. Uh, that brings us over to Russ. Perfect. All right, Biggin. This is going to make a great story. And I am going to run right up into his grill. Uh, <clears throat> uh, oh, while I was waiting, can I have changed that to my great axe again? Absolutely, you can. Perfect. Uh, so I'm going to start swinging away with that great axe. Do, 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 do. Ugh. Does a nine hit? It does not hit. Okay. Good thing I have a second attack. Good Boom. thing. Are you kidding? Oh. That's a nine again. I got <laughs> too excited. A, oh, no. <laughs> that that misses Feels as well, buddy. Bad. Yeah. I got too excited. I was like, yes, Ogre. This is going to be a great story saving Ophons. And then I whiff. All right, that brings us up to the ogre. Oh um, he is going to, uh, as Sweaty is the one that stabbed him in the leg, he's going to go ahead and swing at you with his great club. Puny. That's a natural 20. Nice. <laughs> Ah, this is great. This is great. Absolutely hits. <laughs> All right. Let's see what kind of damage we're doing. And, uh, Zardok explodes. 22 damage to you, good sir. As this great oh. club goes wham down on top of your head. Ouch. You still up? Six health points. <laughs> Woo! That's all you need. <laughs> <laughs> and that's going to be it for him. Big damage. Big whammy. Uh, that brings us Ow. to Billy again. Um, all right. Well, I see him flatten our rogue. Uh, so I'm going to do some like monk parkour stuff to run around, get to his side. Um, and uh, I'll, I'm just going to do my thing. I'm going to do two one-arm strikes. Uh, first one is a 19 for 10 bludgeoning damage. Yes, sir, indeedy. Second one is a 16. That hits as well. All right. Uh, that's another eight bludgeoning damage. Huge. Nicely done. Um, then I'm going to use a key point here and do stunning strike. Ooh. Uh, so I hit with a melee attack. I can spend a key point to make the target stunned until the end of my next turn. If it fails a con save DC 11. Copy. Do you have to, I don't have, I don't think you have to hit. You have to row the con save. I, I did hit. Oh, you did hit. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. He rolled a five. So either for, oh shit. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. Uh yeah, it's done. All right. Until the end of my next turn. He can do Ooh. nothing. Free shots, and boys. We get advantage, I think, on attacks or something. If he's stunned, I don't know if he it's if he's stunned I you get advantage. Get how it works for stun. I know prone for it's sure. It's pretty like it's pretty killer. Okay. Let's look. Yeah, stunning strike is stupid. Um, attack rolls have advantage. Creature automatically fails strength and deck saves. Got it. So uh, got creature is incapacitated, can't move, can't, and can speak only falteringly. Oh, yeah. You guys all, so you hear that, Sweaty? Advantage, baby. Roll twice, take the highest number. Perfect. Uh, is that it for you, bud? That was pretty fucking Uh, yeah, that's turn. me. You might have just saved I've everyone's been, life. I've been saving my stunning strike for, for something Huge. big, so I seemed like a good good time for it. All right, Native. It's all you, baby. Yes, sir. I'm going to see what's going on here, and I'm going to dip back and right run here. away. <laughs> and I'm going to cast Healing Word on uh, Zarak. Nice. It's good. So Roll for that heal. Word. I got seven uh, for a healing word. Nice. So seven health going back to you there, Sweaty. Perfect. You're in the game, baby. 
Uh, anything else from you, Native? No, sir. All right. Sweaty, back to you, dog. As you're in melee range, you got kind of flattened like a pancake. And as you go to take a heave, you feel this magical energy hits you, and it's suddenly easier to breathe than you expected. Yep. And it's time to stabby stabby. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you Let's have go. advantage since he's stunned. First roll is a nine, or do I roll it again? Yeah, roll, yeah, it, roll again it again and take the higher number. Right. So either 15. Uh, 50, you first roll was a nine, so the 15 will be with advantage. So that does hit. 24, 18 plus six. You do hit. Okay. Damage. Two plus three is five. Nice. Good hit. And you have your secondary so that's the one. First one. Yep. So rolling. And again, it was advantage. So roll twice. Take the highest number. First roll, 17. Okay. Plus six is 23. Or two plus six is eight. We're going to go with the 23. Absolutely. So that, hits. that hits, dog. Let's hit that damage. Okay. Damage. Six. Three plus three. Nice. Very nice. All right. Perfect. As you chuck again, kind of in both his, both sides. Oh, he can't do anything right. So <laughs> more of like a squeak comes out of his purse lip. Uh, is that it for you, baby? That's it. All right, Russ, we're back to you, dog. Sweet. <clears throat> I got advantage. Um, anybody else hurting? I'm fine. I am still hurting. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. That was an accident. Uh, <laughs> I am going to. No, I'm right up on him. There's no reason for me to do that. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna swing at with the great X. Okay. And I have advantage, correct? You sure do, baby yes. doll. That's a 23 to hit. That absolutely hits. Okay. Uh, that is nine. Okay, very good. I'm also going to pump a uh, another Divine Smite. Love that. At second level. Paladins. Uh, that is 11 points of radiant damage. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah. okay. Perfect. Another big oh, 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 oh. leaves his lips. Uh, okay. That's a natural 20. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, dude. These are some big numbers coming through from everybody. Right <laughs> the <now>. ogre explodes. <laughs> He got one attack and then was immediately stunned. Monks, man. Love him, dude. This is a great group, right? Honestly, like this is a great group of, of uh, classes. Uh, so that would be 14 damage. 14 damage, buddy. As you as it's sitting there going huh, stunned and you just swing through and uh, put your own flavor on it, buddy. This ogre, it's dying. How do you want to kill this thing? Uh, let's see. I got two attacks on it, right? Yes, sir. He's stunned. So, uh, what? And who hit him before I did? Uh, Sweaty did. Sweaty. Okay. And you're using your daggers. Yep. Okay. Uh, so <clears throat> I imagine you kind of swipe across his belly, and I'm like, "Oh yeah," and I just kind of grab the axe and I give it two chops right into where he cut through his stomach. So that I cut through the rest of the lining, and then I just drag, and it's the blunt because it's just this huge bearded axe. So it's just a blunt edge hook that I get hooked in there, and I just start ripping his guts yes. out through the wound. Mm. As 
blood just starts oozing and pouring onto the stone floor beneath you, getting caught in the curvature of the floor and spreading out as he, in half, the two pieces seem to sit for a second before sliding off. His eyes get wide as it plumps to the ground. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Do we know anybody in town who is taxidermist? Uh, I actually, think there was one back in the back in the village. Yeah, there was one. You're, you one have adventured lodges. there for a while. Yes, sir. Yeah, I just kind of roll my eyes like uh, <laughs> this guy. I'm going to start chopping the ogre's head off. Let's go. Yeah, you easily can do that, man. Uh, while he's doing that, I'm going to go untie Alfonso. Okay. And uh, ask him what happened. Okay, you start untying him, you ungag his mouth, and he kind of stands up, brushes the collapsed mohawk out of his face. It's not a phase, Mom. Kind of stretches <laughs> his arms out, his legs. Oh, oh, just a big, muscly, burly man. Oh. Thank you so much. You've saved my life. Oh, all in a day's work. Where, uh, what happened with the orcs? They just, they came out of nowhere and just, like, took over everything so fast. It pisses me off. Yes, there, I would imagine so. Was there anyone else here? Is there anyone else still in danger? Everyone's dead. They're all dead. Also, the gum drop buttons. You're a monster. <laughs> I'm just covered head to toe in blood. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. I'm just holding by its open mouth the ogre head. Oh, by the way, it's pretty fucking badass, my guy. <laughs> Thank you. The name is Perxiris. I'm never going to say that right. <laughs> curse curse you mother he goes over in the corner and <laughs> grab his war hammer sitting there and puts it over his shoulder would you kill it all or is there anything left there is one orc left he gave us information we let him go you let him go <laughs> he seems like nice yes. guy well at least you didn't give him <laughs> any food before he left Right. Uh, <laughs> I, I kind of just side eye like the uh, skull you kicked in. And I'm oh, going, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and it's like the blood is getting in my beard. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the strings of the blood as it's coagulating on your mustache. Yeah. I I, I continue to just kind of investigate the room, like okay. not paying no attention to to what uh, this barbarian of a man that's talking like Elmo is saying, and I'm just kind of <laughs> looking at what's going on around the room. Yeah. Seeing if there's any other clues, just, just totally, you know, like we just fought. I I'm trying to look for more clues for our next. Yeah, man. Uh, as you look around, the cellar has a dirt floor, uh, walls of mortared stone, um, a very, a very high ceiling for a cellar. That's fun to say ceiling cellar, um, which obviously it needs to be to hold an ogre in it. Um, uh, but as you look around, there are shelves all over, um, some whittling tools and whatnot, and a bunch of skulls made of butter, protected by a thin coating of wax. Huh. Very nice. Butter Very skull ranch. I, I, I scraped the butter and put it in my pockets. This could be used for cooking later. Are they yeah. like are they like novelty things? Like like they sell at like state fairs? Yeah, like you, you can like you could assume a... so. Yeah, they're protected with a thin coating of wax. It takes longer for them to melt. Oh, okay. Cool. Beautifully done. Really nice skulls. You use uh, reference when you make skull butters? Oh, I just close my eye from memory. I've killed many a man in my day. Mm. Fearsome. Uh, quite a unique I? piece of art. Thank you. It seems like you were taken quite easily by orcs. Well, they took me by surprise. I killed a couple, uh, but... You know, they did kind of put my murdered family in front of my face. So that kind of, uh, you know, was a moment. Yes. 
It is moment. Yeah. You can rise above, though. Remember your heart and your yeah. courage. Yeah! Well, that's everyone, right? Um, did you find, did they steal everything? Yes, uh, they we, stole everything. We put your money under your bed. Oh, thank It appears they did not find it. You are, here, come with me. I'll give you something for your troubles. Do you guys know what? Oh, no, no, no. I couldn't, I couldn't take anything. I, I absolutely insist. You saved my life. You should. True heroes do not take anything except <laughs> reputation to their grave. You oh. guys can head downstairs. What do you got for me? Yeah. Uh, so he's, he's just going to kind of ask. Uh, no, I'll, I'll stay in character. It's fun for you, right? Does anyone know <laughs> why all these orcs were here? They just like came out of nowhere. I thought they'd been pushed to the mountains a long time ago. The one we talked to said uh, he did not know there was just much running and screaming. Okay. We hear talk of dragons. You hear anything about this? No, or see I, one? I, I mean, I've seen what I thought could be dragons I mean, years and years ago, but no. I haven't heard of a dragon in these parts in forever. Let me ask you a question real quick. Okay. Were you ever hit very hard in bowls? In a, <laughs> no. I mean, I did practice, you know, to kind of keep it in case it happened during combat, but it's like I had a really deep voice when I was a child and then you know I hit puberty and this is where I am it is strong I can <laughs> see why you fought a lot it puts fear into the heart of many enemy yes <laughs> uh, so he'll go into his bedroom and open his wardrobe and very easily kind of hit a switch in the back and a secret compartment opens up um, and he pulls out a mithril chainmail uh, shirt out from underneath, from in there. And he goes, "This I've been saving this till I was hoping to wear it if anything happened, but it happened so fast. Uh, uh, this is kind of all I have to give to you, except my money. You can have it all. Won't you need some to restart? Uh, I think I'm going to be uh, going to town for a while. If there's orcs about, I want to be there to help protect the town, so... I'll start over someday. Mithril is very good. It is what my monomer is made of, and it kind of splashes the blood off. Yeah, it looks... Bloody, bloody smear prints. <laughs> well, I mean, use it if you can. Sell it. I don't... Like, you saved me. This is huge. Yeah, we did. Remember to tell tells people this. Oh, oh what are, I, heard, I know your name. Uh, whatever. It starts with a P. Mark Sirius. <laughs> yep. Uh, what's everyone else's names? You can call me Quoth. Okay. Sarah. Sarah. Okay, Sarah. Got it. Ryuki. Okay. And uh, good luck with what you're doing. I think you should keep the armor. And then I walk downstairs. Okay. Well, if no one wants it, I'll keep it. All right. <laughs> we understand. I, simply for trophy. I will keep. Okay, that's fine. I'm offering it to you. Man, you guys are making a really big fucking deal out of this. Um, yeah. um perhaps uh, you can tell them <clears throat> I don't know that, uh, the Cloud Dragon Strike Team saved your life. Dragon Strike Team. It kind of rolls off the tongue. I like that. Okay. It really does. Well, don't tell the rest I told you our name. I don't know if it's approved, but we'll just go with it for now. Okay, yeah. I've done that so many times over the years. I'm with you. <laughs> I was in a group for a while. It was really weird. They were called the Dick Hunters. I would probably keep that one to yourself. Well, I mean, it started out because all we did was, like, stab things in the dick, right? And so we're like, yeah, battle cry, but yeah, it turned out really weird. I once knew a group called Hat Trick. I heard of them, what a fucking bunch of morons. <laughs> 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 it 
that's a different kind of Vlad the Impaler right there. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, well, I'm going to grab what I can to head back to town. Uh, did you guys, I don't know if you're looking into anything, but we can regroup there if you want. I heard you say, uh, I believe you offered us money as well. Yeah, no, uh, it's under my bed. I mean, I just don't want it to go to waste. Yeah, um, do you want it all? Half? Uh, I'll just, yeah, we are heroes. I will take 75%. Well, that's math, so here you go. <laughs> yeah, he gives you he gives you 50 gold pieces. So are we uh, looking around anywhere here or going back to town with this fellow? Um, where did orcs come from? Uh, from towards, towards the mountain. I mean, I know they were based up there for a long time, so I'd assume whatever caused them, I don't know, raiding party or whatever. Is there, is there anything we need from town or should we just continue to push forward into the hills? Uh, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I don't know much. I'm just going to town to help defend things. I was, I was asking like the rest of the party. Like, oh, right. Sorry. I'll step back else. now. <laughs> Thank goodness. I, I, I don't, I don't really see a reason to go back to town. We were just there and. I well, I have ogre head. I can wait. We can. It, if it, it looks does... good on your belt. Yeah. Ooh, Leave yeah. it there. Intimidate the others. Yes. Uh, it's a farm, right? Yeah. Are there any chains? Can Ophans point, point me to any, like, just yeah. like... I mean, whatever whatever's in really the have? smithy that was burned down, I'm sure there's stuff you can use there. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm gonna. T oh, yeah. We, we never looked in the smithy. Smithy would be a great place to have weapons or magical mm. weapons. Everybody wanted to... Just beeline it right to the building. I want to do more recon. Well, we but, were supposed uh, to be here to save the guy. Now, yeah, now we wait. killed the orcs. Now we can look around. <laughs> it's all good. I don't think Sounds anyone else came time. by while we were here. True. Okay, True. so you guys going to be just kind of looting around the farm for a while? Uh, yeah. Mostly, we wanted to check the smithy. I think. Okay. Um, while they check the smithy, I'm going to sit in the orchards and the apple orchards. Okay. Recommune with nature. Okay. Enjoy. So you guys are going to spend some trance. time uh, just kind of looting around, eating some apples, cleaning up, looting orcs and whatnot as you decide right. whether to go back to town or push further into the mountains. Um, uh, Alfonso is going to go ahead and head back into town. Um, but right here is where we're going to go ahead and end tonight. So poor Sweaty nice. can go to sleep. Uh, also, that was where it was going to end anyway. But um, yeah, you guys cleared out a shit ton of orcs. You saved the man, killed an ogre. Uh, refused loot. That was something I've never seen before, ever. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, I figured what you guys would take it. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> I did. I took it. You did. It was, yeah, it's really cool to see that aspect. But yeah, so combat happened. Sweaty, your first night. I know you're super tired. Um, I wanted to make it more combat heavy so that that was a mechanic that was really easy. That, you know, you could really get used to. So in the future, when it's more traveling and you know maybe some role play and whatnot like that's kind of easier to pick up on but how, how are you feeling besides fucking exhausted <laughs> no it was a good experience and i do want to do this again i just hit that oh a hundred percent yeah so is there a session two i mean if you guys are down there's a hundred percent session two too. i am so session down. two all right 100 percent down fuck yes <laughs> that makes me happy all right. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's where we're going to end tonight. You guys will spend some time doing that. Uh, I'll set up where I'll set up, depending on which direction you guys go, we'll be ready for that during session two. Um, 